Hi, Floss Tube. Hi, I'm Liz. And I'm Shelly, and we're the Antique Needle Workers. This is a channel about cross stitch and all of our crafty endeavors, and we're just so glad to be back. <laughs> 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 Long time no see. It's been a while. <laughs> it's been a hot minute. I know. Some have um, sent very nice messages, just making sure that everything's okay. Some of us have publicly shouted us out uh, and shamed us. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Christy, Christy, what's all that about? I mean, seriously, be nice. <laughs> just uh, teasing, just teasing. <laughs> we are back. Um, you know what? Sometimes um, we both have been very busy. We both have had a whole lot of stuff going on. Well, we traveled. We did. We I know. Traveled. I think the last time we videoed, I was going to my mom's that weekend, and then I left for Tennessee the next week, and I was in Tennessee helping our daughter move the whole week. I got home at like midnight on Sunday. We had, I had Monday to try and recuperate and then Tuesday StitchCon stuff started. Because Carrie. Hi Carrie. Hi Carrie. <laughs> Hi friend. Miss um, Tiger Lily Design showed up in town to see us on Tuesday. Yes. And so then we had StitchCon all week and then the next week you left on vacation and then the next week I left on vacation and Life just happens sometimes, guys. It's just a busy time of year. I think everybody's... Oh, everybody's busy. Summer just Everybody gets busy. Gets yeah. I just thought it was just so sweet that so many of you checked in to see if we were sick or if we were okay. And I just thought that was so sweet. So thank you, friends. Thank you. Yes. That was so kind of you. So, so hey, Liz, what's up? Um... Just surviving my least favorite time of year. I did have to laugh because I watched Christy and uh, Callie's video. And <laughs> if I, can, I can relate more than you even know. I have my little fan over here going. And it's not even hot in the middle. Shelly turned the air down. It's cool. But I'm still, it's so disgusting outside. And I, no matter what I do, I'm always hot and the rolls are sweating and that really irritates me. And so I just feel like that I am just on edge all the time because I'm just sweaty and I'm so miserable. Sorry you're miserable. My hair is always frizzy. I'm just, I don't like the heat. Now, and we're not even as hot as Alabama. Alabama is hotter than we are for sure. Oh, it's scorching here oh, though. Because it is hot here though. I was out at the bar. I got up at a little after six this morning I was out at the barn and did went to feed the animals and all that and I checked um, we have an exhaust fan that's heat activated and it tells all the weather information on it and it was 84 degrees at 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. in the barn so it is sweltering hot as a matter of fact both of us are wearing sundresses because if you the, the less clothes as possible yes don't touch my body but I Ooh. on the other hand um I don't have a, a hate relationship with the weather. I love summer because not so much, I would rather be warm than cold because I have thyroid disease and I'm cold all the time. Oh no. So I'm cold all the time. If I'm not, if, but I'm, there's no in between. I'm cold if or I hot. Ha I haven't reached the cold stage of menopause yet where you know where everybody says you go from like being hot flashes all the time to them being cold all the time. I look forward to that day, but that has never mm -hmm. happened yet. Yeah, I, I liken the coldness of thyroid disease as the walking dead. I feel Ugh. so cold on the inside. So I relish feeling warm. I hate it and, so much. Um, But right now I am in just absolute hog heaven because my gardens are just amazing. We've begun to eat dinners out of the garden. Everything is so gorgeous and fluffy and beautiful and the berries for breakfast and all the things. I'm just... Tim spent like two days in the yard when we got back because 
catching things. up. Like we were only gone for, well, I mean, I think we were gone for like nine days and Grace did come over and water stuff, but it was, it had just exploded in those nine yeah. days that we were gone. Yeah. And so, I mean, for two days he was literally out in the yard, oh. like trying to get everything get things staked and get things cleaned up and I don't even, I don't even know what he was doing oh. out there but it was you wouldn't catch me outside <laughs> no I love it and nope. when I was gone my sweet son I call him the farmer's son that's because he is like his mama he loves gardening he loves trees and all the above he was over pruning strawberry bushes for me and watering my garden every day taking care of my animals so i came home and everything was just gorgeous and perfect so i just got to no. go out and, so we're yeah. lucky grace watered yeah. <laughs> that was about all we got out of her <laughs> was just watering but yeah. that's okay yeah, it's but, all right but it's so wonderful when you're going out and snipping your salad out of your salad garden and the zucchinis and oh and my raspberry bushes and my Our zucchinis are huge. those things man that stuff spreads oh they do <laughs> they get i actually in my garden i have it spe specifically laid out so that this chunk goes to the zucchini so because i want them to be prolific so but i go out there and i go out and pollinate them myself oh, because yeah, to make sure tomatoes. because the bad thing is is you know you we've had years where like you've got the most beautiful zucchini plants but there's no zucchini set on them because they haven't pollinated yep. so i go out there with my q-tip and i'm pollinating between the he and the she <laughs> you know? zucchini is one of those things though literally it's like i go out one day and, and it's, it's maybe like yeah. this big and, and if i leave big. it for more than like a day it's like a 12 footer out there yeah. like yeah, it's yeah, ridiculous yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's actually what we're going to have for dinner tonight is because the zucchinis, it was like, oh, yeah, yesterday it was the size of my thumb. Today it's the size of a log. You know? I know. So, they grow really fast. Yeah, so I am enjoying every bit of that and the ducks on the pond. Our daughter raised ducks and um, they got delivered to the pond and they are acclimated and they're just wonderful. It is the joy of our family. She did such a wonderful job raising and there's three different um, varieties. And so, I mean, the grandkids, the sister-in-law, my mother-in-law, my other kids, everybody comes down and feeds the ducks every day. They're just so much fun. So it's, it's a fun time that we can be outside because there's going to be plenty enough gloom when oh, Ohio wait. hits winter. So oh. I will take the beauty of the sunshine all day long. No, I will be happy again come October. Until then, I will probably be in like heat induced Coma. fits of anger um, that randomly come on if I get too hot and then just get, I just hate it. I hate it. Everything's, I don't like, Bless your heart. I don't like feeling sweaty Bless and I don't heart. like, you know, listen, girls, when you got rolls, it's oh it's just it's awful it's just miserable so anyways yeah but we're glad to be back we're glad to be back and you better get your seat belt people because this table is a hot <coughs> wreck it's not it's worth a quilt frame but i mean it's a chunk of a mess under here because it's been six weeks we've had stitch con we've been on vacations and so I said to Jerry this morning, I came out here to set my stuff up because I've been bringing bags up and sitting it under here, but I was trying to organize. And I walked in the living room and I said, I'm never shopping again. I never shopping again. He, he went like this. And I go, I know I'm a liar, but I'm never shopping again. I'm never shopping again. He's like, okay, you're never shopping again. And I'm like, no, I can't believe what is under that frame right now it's i'm embarrassed it's kind of <laughs> stressful i was yesterday i texted her and i was just like oh my gosh i don't even i have stuff everywhere and i can't remember what like i've gotten since that's why i would make deposits under the quilt frame. i wasn't I would just as good bring as you on bag. that oh no I just chucked it under the quilt frame, but so I would, I had this. And you have more stuff too. Cause you did. I asked you to, I said stuff that we got the same, yeah, like at yeah, stitch yeah. I'm like, I'm not going to bring it. We don't need to show two right, of the same right, thing, but right. so you do have more stuff than yeah, I do for it's sure. It's an ugly rack under there. So yeah, we, no, it's a wonderful rack. It's a wonderful rack. But so anyway, so you know what? I completely forgot before we started filming to tell you 
about a quick maker's moment. <laughs> we didn't even discuss this. We didn't discuss it. Oh but it's, boy. But it, it's really quick. It's really quick. Deep thoughts I, of Liz on the fly. I don't know if y'all are ready for that. <laughs> no, it's going to be a quickie, but I can't not say it because when I was in Gulf Shores, yeah. I went to Creative Needle Arts and the owner was sitting with a client and I think it was the owner. I do think it was the owner. Cause when I walked in, she goes, are you antique needle worker? I said, yes, how did you know? She goes, I got a phone call. And so anyway, so somebody had told her that I was coming because there were people sending me messages. You're coming to Gulf Shores. You've got to go to Creative Needle oh, yeah. Arts, blah, blah, blah. And I had planned on it. But so um, I, wa I was out, she saw me out there doing this, you know, taking my video outside. So, um, but anyway, she was sitting there and I was listening to her. And as I was listening to her, I thought that is a maker's moment if ever I heard one. But she was sitting with a lady and they at their shop have cross stitch and needlepoint of which I love both. But she was sitting with a woman and they had a canvas in front of them. And she was trying, I don't know if she was a cross stitcher, gonna try needlepoint, or if she was just a new needle pointer to begin with. But so they were going, she had so she had done something because I heard her say, were you basket weaving? They were talking about negative space in specialty oh, stitches. Okay. okay. And you can basket weave or tent stitch negative space in a needle point, but you could also do specialty stitches and make them incredible. And this was the um, premise of their conversation. But the part of the conversation that I like hyper-focused on, she was talking to her about these specialty stitches and she's and the woman was making reference to, um, oh, I didn't know that you could do those things. And she was talking about making um, her project her own, of which we know Liz does such a gorgeous job of anything you do. Your color theory is off the chart. And it is so amazing to see Liz take colors and change and make her project her own. And, um, and I will delete like names off of samplers and put my own name or things like that. But in this conversation, um, she said to the woman, she said, you understand, listen, I know you didn't draw this design or come up with it, but everything, whether you follow the pattern or you make it your own, these are pieces of artwork. And she, and I, I and I, I so wanted to go sit down at the table and say, oh, we're having a maker's moment. Can I talk to you? <laughs> I want to film this and put this on our floss tube because the truth of the matter is, is whether we as stitchers follow a pattern to the T or we make it our own, everything that you are doing in every stitch you make, you are making artwork. And I just wanted to say today for our Maker's Moment, by the way, this is our Maker's Moment, um, you are all artists. And I know we've said that before, yeah. but the thing about it is, is isn't that a beautiful way to think about your stitching that you are proliferating artwork? You don't have to be Gauguin or Monet or Renoir. You don't have to be a needlework designer because here's the deal. Every one of us are artists and we are just pulling part of ourself out and putting that on our fabric. And it is displayed in our in our, our, our sewing rooms, it's displayed in our homes, it's given as gifts, and it is artwork. And I think that um, as I was listening to her talk to um, her patron, who what she was helping, she said, I never thought of the things I did as art. And, and it's a piece of artwork that, ha that, that lasts, uh, you know, we will expire. In, unless it catches on fire or, you know, you, hey. you know, it's going to stay. And it's a piece of you on your canvas, on your linen, on your quilts, on whatever it is that you're doing. And um, I just, 
want to challenge you today to look at what you're doing in um, your stitching or whatever craft mode that you're doing and consider the fact that it's artwork. And so draw out that inner artist in yourself and um, lay it down on that linen, lay it down on in fabric, in watercolor, in knitting and weaving, crocheting, whatever it is that you do. And, and consider the fact that it has value and weight and it's a piece of artwork and it's beautiful and I just, I ate that conversation up. Oh, they had thread to beat the band. And I was standing in this cove where the silk was. And I was going like this, peeking through the two displays and just listening to her. It was just like music to my soul. I, I, but you know, I love talking about yes. I love talking about that stuff. And so anyway, so that that's kind of what I wanted to say about Maker's Moments. And um, do you have any thoughts on the matter, Miss Liz? Um, Miss Liz Beth? <laughs> I kind of, I guess I look at it as I have yet to find a designer. Now, there may be designers out there. I'm not going to speak for all of them. But I've yet to find a designer who has, I think, ever gotten upset when people change the colors or make it like right. their own. Oh, no. I think all oh, of them wait. are very open to say, take this and make it yours, however yeah. that might be. But I also know, like, if we're talking, like, antique sam or reproduction samplers that those girls even though they were following a pattern and had a teacher and they were learning that stuff they still had their own creativity to choose right. the colors that they wanted to for those samplers even if they were following a pattern and we've seen them where girls have chosen some crazy, crazy colors, colors. <laughs> but that was theirs and they made it their own and so i feel like even if i'm doing a reproduction sampler why would i not do the same thing to make it speak to me and represent me yeah, right. and so i don't have a problem with changing colors now there are purists out there that do and that's Amen fine to you and that's to fine you. but <laughs> i figure if the girls chose their own colors then why wouldn't i choose colors that speak more to me but um i don't know i but, guess i i don't know i i just know what I like and I love colors and that's something that's easier for me and it, it's not always easy for some people and that's totally okay because we all have our own giftings and right. areas that we're comfortable with and um <clears throat> but I don't I don't know it brings me joy and I enjoy doing it so mm -hmm. and you're creating a beautiful piece of art yeah so I don't see a problem with it yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Clearly, I justify my actions by saying I don't see a problem with it. But um, like you said, that it is. It's it's a way for me to take something that was um, stitched by someone else, but then put my own. Yeah. Um, you lizify it. Yeah, I lizify it. But <laughs> but but to have a piece of me in it. That, exactly. That makes it mine too, not just theirs. Yes. So and it is a genuine piece. Think about that. Even if it's the a small pin cushion or a haid, I will never. I will never do a haid. I will never stitch a haid because I would have palpitations. But I really love to see people who do stitch oh, yeah. them. They're beautiful and you're patient. Yes, <laughs> you're patient. They have like forty threads coming out of the thing, and yeah, um, yeah I so think they're gorgeous. But gorgeous. no, it's nice. Yeah, but that's, we're all different. We are. We're all different. But so, yeah, that's all I wanted to talk okay. about. But wasn't that a good, I yeah. mean, it was so neat listening to her. And it was like, um, you know, the lady, like I said, I know she had stitched something else because she had talked about using basket weave. But whatever level she was at, she was like, it was almost like a clean slate. And I get so excited, and I was just like, "Oh, I so want to walk around this display and sit was she next doing, to her." Was she doing needlepoint? She was doing yeah. needlepoint, and they were, like I said, they were talking about negative space and the stitches and how it could be just fantastic. But then she just really was walking her into the thought process, changing the mindset. Yes, that this is artwork. Yeah. This is, and it's yours, and it was just. Because we was, get stuck sometimes in those things we think we need to do or or rules that we think we have to follow. And so sometimes people just need permission to say, yeah, you don't have to do yeah, that. Like yeah. you, you can completely make this your own. Drag like, that artist. Yeah, I guess you. so. That's what you want. 
<laughs> that's what it is. It's a piece of artwork and it's yours. And so, yeah. Okay, that was our maker's moment. All right. Okay, so since we have so I don't know what the schedule is today, so I will, just, I. <laughs> I will just follow whatever she tells me to pull out. How about let's do this. Since there's so much fluff, mm -hmm. let's do our whips, okay. then our finishes, then okay. our fully finishes, and then we'll dive into the bags of total okay. chaos. Well, I have it. no fully finishes. No, okay, well, good. why don't you pull out your whips? How okay. about your whips? And while you're doing that, I laid your quilt blocks over there, and I think that they need to be over here because I think you need to show them. Oh. Because <laughs> my friend is a quilter now. So I don't know anyway, if I'm a quilter, but I start quilted. This, and I'll get you quilt um, blocks. I quilted. So I haven't been working on... Okay, so with what we said has been going on, there has not been a lot of time to stitch. Um, I definitely did not get stitching in at my daughter's because my year and a half year old granddaughter... Um, likes to monopolize time and I love to give it to her. So the minute she would see me even sit down and pull out my stitching, she was like right on my side and like wanted to be up in my lap and in my business and throwing all my threads on the floor. Oh, that's and, what she needed to be uh, doing now. Yes. So, spending time with Miss Avery. And uh, clearly we all know that I don't get stitching done at retreats. Um, <laughs> so my whip pile, I actually did have two finishes. Wait, yeah, two, two finishes. Yeah, two finishes. So I'll show those when we get to that. But then whips, I have started a couple new, really just three things technically. Um, Cause I just, I just feel like, I don't know, summer should be the time that I would think I would have more time to stitch and it has not been the case at all. So for my first one, um, for my July cross stitch camp, I started Vicky's um, Strawberry Urn. It was a free pattern that she has on her website. Needlework Press. Needlework Press. Oh yeah, it's up there too. Needlework Press. And so this mm, is, is beautiful. This is uh, just a day stitching. Uh, I didn't get much, but it's really not a. It's not a big pattern, so it won't take long. So this is on. I was trying to see if. I don't know that you can really see it on the color that well. So this is on 46 count light nougat by XJU. Um, and it's actually got a pink hue to it. I can see it in person. Yeah, you can see it in person, but you can't really but see it on the thing. But it's not pinky pink, pinky no. pink. It's, it, it's beautiful. And yeah. that thread is gorgeous. Yeah, so I muted it. It was a lot, you know, brighter in the chart. And I know that. Uh, Vicky doesn't care about that. Um, so I just kind of primmed it up a little bit. I have that. You you brought me that. This is not what I was going to stitch <laughs> for July, but plans changed at the last minute. So, yeah. You brought me that, and I have, um, I'm not going to do it a monochromatic. I'm going to use Picnic Basket on the urn, and then, um, is it Cast Iron Skillet? What's the... Uh, it's a black one. It's a black one for the birds. I'm no. going to do a red. I anything, you know, I thought about... I did think about doing... I haven't got down that far yet, but then mm -hmm. I was like... I hadn't decided if I wanted to do monochromatic, if I wanted to add in some I color. Love, I love the color picnic basket for baskets and oh, I love picnic basket too. And I, so I thought that in cast iron skillet for the birds and maybe some Oscar for the... Um, for the leaves, but I think that that is such a sweet stitch. And though that color, what color is that? That is Weeks Red Pear. Oh, that is beautiful. Mm -hmm. I beautiful. Like it. So there's that. Um, oh, that goes with my finish. Um, ready for it? This was my big old stitch concert. Y'all hold on, because you're not going to believe how much I got done. So There's a better picture in the back. Yes. Yeah. I'm like, there it is. So I started this uh summer jubilee at stitchcon um tara sully 1040 and She's done. jen the purple stitcher and marcy uh, mimi thiessen those are their instagram handles we're all gonna start this and they asked if i wanted to start it and i said sure because i've had this book for a couple Hot. years um and i haven't stitched anything in it <clears throat> so yeah um tara started it and 
completed it. I know she did. <laughs> I know she did. Because when she showed it, I was like, oh my gosh, I started that last year. Delisha had finished it the year before. Oh and, yeah, I remember when Delisha finished and it. And so yes. I started it at that stitch gone and it's halfway done and sitting in a bag. And I said, now I want to get this out. And, and Tara said something to the effect of, oh yeah, you can do it. <laughs> Well, Tara whipped that puppy out she in did. like two weeks. Um, I don't know where Jen and Marcy are. They haven't said. Hopefully, they're back at the beginning where I am because here it is. Y'all ready for this? Two whole threads. <laughs> two whole threads in there. Um, now, I have the 18th century Blackbird that it called for, but my 18th century Blackbird did not look Tara and Jen are doing it on 18th century Blackbird. Marcy's doing it on a different color, but... Um, Mine is on, I said, Colors by Stephanie, and it, the color's Michelle. Oh. My name. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, I don't know what that color yeah, is. It's a, um, it's a gray. It looks like that. Uh, so, I was looking through my stash. I just didn't like... They had had their 18th century Blackbird for, like, years. years. Um, and we all know that, like, linen dye lots can vary greatly and mine I just did not like it and so I went through my stash I had a couple things I was deciding on but I ended up with so this is fox and rabbit and it's got like that grayish taupe I don't even know what, what, what color would you describe it it's definitely got gray in it it looks gray with like a sampler brown mixed yeah in it. so this is fox and rabbit 40 count winter wren and that's what I decided to do it on. It's a very pretty color. I need to I get back to it. I've never seen that in person. Yeah, it is really pretty, actually. Super pretty. Um, yeah, and I've had this for a while, it too. It makes me want to go linen shopping, and I said I'm not going to go I shopping. I know. No so more. there was that big old whip. <laughs> and last one. So I saw actually two places. But the first place I saw this was Michelle Penny. Penny's daughter Daughters. shares. Yeah. Um, uh, but then I watched Liz's, Elizabeth Ann Can Stitches video um, because Michelle had seen Liz do it. So then I went back and watched Liz, um, Liz's. And so I just loved it. I don't even know why, because it really is not what I normally stitch. Um, but I liked it. And you know what? If I like it, I'm going to stitch it. I mm -hmm. could care less. So... I don't need to, you well, know. Things, things can hit our hot button yeah. at any time. I don't even know why, but I did. So, oh, I know what this yes, is. Yes, oh, yes. So I love I this. I love what it says. I do too. And Look so I picked, colors. I picked these colors out. So of course I had to do my own color conversion on it. Um, I got stray things going everywhere. Um, I actually got these colors when I was up in um, the Crafty U. So we'll talk about that. But I stopped in the Crafty U up in Cleveland on our way back from Boston. And so it was um, Teresa's freebie for market in 2020. It was the Create Every Day. There isn't a chart I can show you because it's just like the chart. I'll quickly there and so if you, it's a freebie i think it's okay to show i know but they can get it on i think liz says she got it on fat quarters website but Teresa, i think has it on her website so you can get it directly from her it just says create every day um michelle finished hers liz finished hers i actually love liz's idea because yeah. i was watching her video and she's going to make it into like a wall yeah and now that you know i think that i'm a quilter i'm not a quilter she but is. um I'm like, oh, I could totally do that now too. Yeah, and I'm like, uh, mm -hmm. to like but I guess if I'm just piecing together like squares around it, I don't know. We'll have to we'll have to talk about that later. You're a quilter, it's good. So <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Um I'm doing this on 46 count milk and honey. Oh, the jewelry. Yeah, market. fiber on a whim, 46 count milk and honey. So I just started this yesterday. So all I've got is the C and the R and then the little stitches down there below it. So these are the colors. Yeah. They're beautiful. Liz. Um these are the colors I so I kind of I actually took Michelle's um colors and just kind of tweak them a little to be a little bit more primmy. Prim Liz colors. Um I'm not good at this. There we go. Teal and purple. There. Gosh, this is not, I'm not good at displaying 
things. But That's so pretty. Those are going to be my colors for it. Um, yeah. So I love it. Um, but like I said, I use Michelle's as a guide and then I just kind of tweak the colors to make them just a little bit more primmy. Oops. I'll get in a minute. So anyways, that was my last. Don't you love it when you can grab them with your toes? I okay. just kicked it off with my toes. <laughs> <laughs> I do feet. that all the time at home. Monkey so, feet. um, that's my last whip. That's my last whip. I didn't get, oh. I know you would think after six weeks, you'd be like, my gosh, she must have so many whips going. It's just crazy. We'll all make up the difference. Sorry, people. <laughs> um, I've got a lot going on, but I did get two finishes done. Um, and I did, and I did quilt and some of my time was going towards quilting stuff too. So anyways, all right. I think that's it for my wits. Okay. So, um, I am. Oh, sorry, people. You're fine. Uh, I'm sorely behind <coughs> on my book of days. Uh, I did not, I, it was terrible trying to go back and forth. So I have to catch up my book of days, but I do have uh, everything here that I did. This is in my Carrie keeper that Carrie made for Liz. Liz, she's got hers over oh, yeah, there. Yeah, Carrie made us this as a gift for when she came. Blue. And, and, and yellow. For and, us both. Yep. So in this, <laughs> I have my Jan Hicks Create Stitching with Friends which is our stitch along that we're doing with you all. Mm -hmm. And the installment for June was the top line. And I got that <coughs> all done. You got that done at StitchCon, didn't you? Yes, the yeah. only thing different right here is I do have the initials of our friends from our stitch group who we're stitching it together. And so um, the way we did it is each of us stitched a piece of that line. And so then on the last motif next year, when we go to StitchCon, we will... Um, oh my gosh, is that ironed? It's ironed. I did. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is like so like crisp and <laughs> nice and mine are like looking all janky like I pulled it out of the clothes pile. I ironed them today. That's been sitting there for two weeks in the corner. <laughs> if this is all the called for colors and I have it on 36 count Zweigart Mocha. And so today um, my plan is to do my July installment on here. So for all of you who are stitching along with us, it is Antique Needleworkers Friends Sal. That's the hashtag. Um, I will be stitching <coughs> um, my July installment starting today. And as soon as I get that done, I'll hashtag it and put it up on Instagram. So that was one of my whips. Okay. And then this is part of my haul, which I'm going to have to <gasps> tell you. Oh, you, you got I'm, one of Barry's bags? I got one of Barry's bags. Oh, I love Barry's hands. bags with the hands across the sea. And um, the reason why I don't have it in the hall is because I wanted to put this stitch in here. Um, we have a friend, her name is Becky Parker. Hi, Becky, how hi, are Becky. you? Hi, Becky, oh, hi, Becky. <laughs> uh, Becky, last year at StitchCon, I was standing talking to someone, but she was on the other side of them. Yeah. And she was stitching, and I was watching her stitch last year, and she was stitching this beautiful piece. And I said, I, I said, excuse me, to the person I was talking to. And I leaned over and I hadn't met her. It, but I said, that is gorgeous. What are you stitching? And it was Jeanette Douglas's um, Antique Flowers. Oh, or yeah. Vintage Flowers. Vintage Flowers, vintage yeah. Vintage Flowers. And I said, oh my gosh. So I immediately bought that. Well, I'm standing talking to Christine Hollis from Hollis Hands Creates. Hello from Bavaria, my friend. <laughs> Hi, my sweet Christine. I'm and, sending you a big hug. <laughs> but we were sitting there in here. I'm standing and Becky is stitching. And I leaned over and I said, I am, can't even believe this. It's the second time she's inspired me. I'm like, what are you I don't know that I've stitching? ever seen this. This was in the big red box. Oh, that's, I'm <laughs> like, I've never seen this hands across the sea. This is absolutely stunning in person. It's called Matilda. It's by Hands Across the Sea. And Becky Parker was stitching this. Now, of course, I couldn't get this because this was in Nicholas. Is that how you pronounce it? It's spelled mm -hmm. weird. Matilda. Matilda. Okay. Matilda. Okay. Becky was stitching this and I said, that is gorgeous. What are you stitching? You've done it to me again. And she showed it to me and I said, oh, dang it. I'm not gonna be able to stitch that because I didn't get the big red box. And, of course, either. and then Christine says, Shell, I've got it and I won't be stitching it for a while. You can borrow mine. 
before I got did the oh, I loop, wondered how you were got your hands on this. I love well, this. This is not Christine. I Christine's. love this. I made the loop around the stitch con haul, and by the time I made it back to my chair, Becky Parker had this sitting on my stitch stand. And I went to her and said, You're done with it? She said, I had just this one little section left it's yours and so i was so excited and um so um she had done it on creme brulee and i have to tell you something creme brulee is not necessarily my jam because uh, but her piece of was the prettiest piece of creme well brulee. i think it depends on the piece you yeah it very it, is dependent on the piece the you get. modeling yeah and, and it was the prettiest piece of creme brulee and i said there's no way that I'm gonna be able to find a piece because I have to see it, I'm never ordering it. And then Christine piped up and she said, Brea would be gorgeous from Rachel from Needle and Flax. And I said, interesting, Hi, I have a piece of 46 at home. And so that evening when I went home, I grabbed my 46 and I started it. And I was able to get the whole, this section of the top line in at StitchCon and the first line of letters. And since StitchCon, I have finished going down and the second mm -hmm, letter. Mm -hmm. So this is 46 Count Brea by Needle and Flax. This is a two color, um, a two color sampler. And I chose just from my stash, Cherry Cobbler from Classic Color Works. And Wavy Davy is what I'm going to use. Um, I, I am so in love with this. Isn't that gorgeous? Well, as soon as I'm done, you can stitch I it. I am so in love with this. I need to stitch this. I don't even know. I absolutely and, love this. And can I tell you something, Liz? That book couldn't do justice to what that piece looks like in person. I was standing there. I, I literally, love all of these little border motifs. Like I I literally excused I myself from my conversation with Christine and I said, I can't, I'm paying so much attention to this. Hold on one second, Christine. Hey Becky, what is that? I, and so yeah, I gotta I, do this. I was so blessed. Thank you for I just can't believe she handed me her book. Becky so, is a sweetheart. She I is loved a getting doll to face. Um, talk with her, her at StitchCon. Love her. So my hands across the sea is in my hands across the sea bag. So I worked on that. I'm gonna stitch that. And then I bought this bag at StitchCon. Isn't this pretty? Oh, it's so pretty. And this is who is that by? I, um, one moment, please. Uh, who's this by? I haven't seen that style back No, here before. it is. Here it is. Oh. Painted, Painted Leaf. Leaf. Oh, oh, you know who that is? Who? That is Sarah, Stitchy Sarah Reed's oh. mom. Oh. That's Sarah's mom's Oh, and bag. I love this. This is... This oh, is, my gosh. It's an elastic, like, hair tie thing, but right? I love it. <laughs> I love it. And I have tons of this in all different colors because of the things I do for the baby group. Oh, making the yeah. Uh, and so I was like... Oh, that's a good thing to put on your bag. But so anyway, what I have, I wanted this to be in this bag. I bought this at that's Stitch adorable. Con. But what I have in here is my oh. Praiseworthy Stitches, Simple Gifts of Courage, which is the um, Pam's Survivor Sal. Um, I'm stitching with Pam from Just Keep Stitching. Um, this was her 30th, 30th, 30 year anniversary so, yeah. of surviving breast cancer. Um, I'm going to try to do this and not cry. I can't believe I'm going to cry. <laughs> One minute, please. Um, I lost my dad to um, liver cancer, and he was 63, and I lost him in 2007. And my husband lost his dad when he was 44 years old. He was in my wedding. He was my husband's best man. And we were married July 14th, getting ready to have my 33rd anniversary. He's been gone for 32 years, which is boggling to me. But he never made it to our first anniversary. He died of lung cancer at 44. And so when I heard about this, I thought, oh, what a way to honor our dads in my house. And so um, thanks, Pam. I'm really appreciative for this stitch. I am messed up right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I miss them like it was yesterday. Mm -hmm. You know, he Jerry's dad's been gone since 91. Uh, my baby was six weeks old. I got pregnant a month after my wedding. Um, 
So he did get to see Michael, but to lose him so young. My mother-in-law's been a widow since she's been 42. And then, you know, and 63 is very young. Losing your dad, losing your parents is tough. So the C word is a dirty word in the Fry house. So anyway, so I am stitching this in honor of our daddies. And um, lung cancer is white, the ribbon. So I'm using antique lace. And liver cancer's ribbon is green. So I'm using weeping willow. I love weeping willow. And I am doing this on, um, I think this is 36 count. It's needle and flax, Rachel, because we love her. Oh, it's right here. I'm doing this. Uh, it's 36 count Dolly Madison. And this is my start. Oh, that's going to be so pretty. I thought it would be. And I pit, the fabric <clears throat> is perfect and the colors are perfect. It will look manly. It will, it will, it won't let, it won't be girly looking. Right, you know? right. And, um, you know, uh, the only thing I will say about the pattern that I think I'm going to change is all of the sundry um, initials or alphabet throughout there, I'm not going to put those. I am going to put our father's initials, and that is it when it comes to all the letters. I'm going to put the word courage. Yeah. But all of the initials I'm going to leave out except for our father's initials and i may put um the year numbers like uh, my dad was born in 43 jerry's dad was born in 46 and so i think i may put a 43 and a 46 and then i may put an uh a 07 and a, a 91 in there in in lieu of all the letters because i want it to be a thousand percent about our dads i I was looking at this, and it's funny because Pam's initials are up there, but yes. then so is Liz. It's spelled yes. out like right I there. Know, I, know. Um, I have one of these praiseworthy stitches. I don't even remember where I got it, but I think mine says kindness on it mm -hmm. because they had different like words, but I don't think these are in print anymore, are they? Because I have not been able to find. You know, I don't. I, can't I think I that. know she reprinted these specifically for Pam. for Pam. But I think a lot of her word, um, the simple gifts, because that's what mine's called too. But I, I haven't found them anywhere because hmm. I do have the kindest one. And I thought about doing that. And I would love to do the courage. And I do love because I've seen a lot of people who change their colors to the ribbon to the ribbon of what they're the cancer I, and and she tells well i think christy's doing hers for like alzheimer's she right is, yeah, yeah yeah so i think i mean it's within the chart any i think any anything. kind of disease that has affected your family like my grandfather didn't die of heart i mean he died of heart disease of congested heart failure mm -hmm. um but yeah i oh see inside the chart oh, they that. give you the colors for the cancer ribbons if you're doing it for the purpose of cancer oh, yeah. but i know you can get online but um yeah because my grandma died of dementia too yeah. and so i think that there are i think that there are ribbons for those things oh as there well. are yeah because hers she, is purple she puts it right inside there so oh, i love that oh yeah. and i think that was probably an add-on for the people buying it for I, the i'm sale. just so i am so excited and thankful to um to Pam Schaffner for her, the idea, because and I just don't know that I would have thought of it. It really spoke to a lot of people because keepsake oh, has keepsakes has sold tons. hundreds of them. Yeah. I don't even think Pam knew that it was gonna yeah. be like as amazing as it is, and it resonated with so many oh, people. It did, it did, and and I, and I and my family is really excited about this. So this is gonna keep me yeah. on the hot seat. And with, Pam did a beautiful. Beautiful. Um, Stephanie, not Stephanie, sorry, Barbara had Pam come up and Pam spoke oh, at StitchCon about it. it. Was and wonderful. there was a lot of tears in the room when mm -hmm. she was talking about mm -hmm. that. Pam did a beautiful job yeah, um, she talking did. about it. So. She did. And congrats, friend. 30 years. It's amazing. Oh, I, and I'm so thankful you're with us. Yep. So that is, I am just so elated for that. And um, yeah, thankful for that. And, but I, I had, there's no way I could walk around not stitch that not when this family of ours has been so affected so um yeah so that was that one and um 
Then, uh, let's see. Oh, I worked on this and I'm actually going to work on this throughout this month on and off because I'm so in love with it. Oh, it's Rocky. Did you start that? Oh, I've had this in my, in my bag oh, okay. uh, for a while. Um, Rocking Horse Holiday. And this I is Art Artful Offerings. I love her charts. I love her chart and I love this stitch. Um, I had the bracket here. I did this since we've last oh, filmed. Okay. So this is 36 count ale. And I was just saying to Liz that I did the, I had this much of the border, but since we filmed last, I did the tree and the stand and the star. And it's all the called for colors. And I think that ale was the, it, it is, it's the called for fabric. So this is 36 count ale. And um, I, you know, Christmas in July, I'd love to get this done because this is going to, I'm going to get this done and I'm going to frame it and I'm going to put it on an easel downstairs in the kitchen of the mill here for Christmas. Oh yeah. Yeah, so I'd love to have that done for this year. Her so Her designs always have such a vintage oh, vibe to look them. Look at that. Yeah, I love uh, them. And you can't, the, even just these muted little snowflakey stars in there. And I just love, love, love this pattern. And so I'm gonna keep this out as uh, through the month of July. And I would love to burn down a whole bunch of this um, and get that done. And then, this is in my Gamma's treasure stack. I love burn my Gamma. Down. I'm gonna burn it down. <laughs> um, this is... That came out this bag. I don't know if that's in no, that bag. Or is that, that mine? That's yours. <laughs> that's yours. <laughs> of course, it's my shredding over here. <laughs> this is... Um, oh, yes. Yeah, I, 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 and I did so little that I, it's shameless. It's shameful that what I'm gonna show. Uh, this is Every Opening Flower by Brenda Gervais. And I did a tiny, tiny speck on it. Um, I did, I did the N and three of these <coughs> little tiny motifs. But I did pull it out and I did work on it that little bit. So it, it, I had to say it was a whip. And so I'm using all the called for colors that I got this. Um, Let's see. It's gonna be a fairly decent sized sampler, huh? Oh, it, it's a good size sampler because that's only that's only in page one. So I mean it's gonna take up most of that. That fabric yeah, I don't the house have, will probably go right here. Yeah, yeah, so it's a it's a good size. Yeah, the, I got this from Michelle at Farm Girl Dry Goods, and this is one of her this is one of her fabrics. Um 36 something. It's 36 something. It's it's mystery. <laughs> I'm sorry. So I did get a little bit done on that. I, I sat down to try and I got called away by a grandchild that was swimming in the pond. And I was like, oh, gotta go. <laughs> I'm so excited. My grandbaby's coming tonight. Aww. So I haven't seen her in a month. And then I pulled out my oh, Sew yes. Together series. I'm working on chart <laughs> number three of the Sew Series by uh, Jeanette Douglas. I had got the frame in mm -hmm. the last time I showed it, and then I got the words, um, scissors and threads, and I began on part of the pair of scissors at the bottom. And this is on 40 Count Malo, which is an acquaintance. It's not my best friend yet, but it is an acquaintance. I'm, the more I stitch on it, the less I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> I love its beauty, I can, but anyway. You hated it in the first video, so we're making progress. You're coming along. Yes, we're acquaintances. <laughs> oh, I love my Robert Morris fabric. I love bag that Robert from, Morris fabric. Yep, from that Strawberry Thief from um, Robert Morris. And that's my Gamma Treasures bag. And this is my Blue Bird of Happiness, which is by JBW Designs, Judy Whitman. And this was the retreat piece for Stitch Away um, for Keepsakes. And if you want a copy of this, it's an exclusive there. And you can check in the description <clears throat> box and you can just call Keepsakes and get a hold of it. So anyway, this is on 40 Count Freeze by Atomic Ranch. 
Um, since we saw each other last, I did this right here, this bird, and I started on the middle band right there. I love that bird. I want to stitch just oh. that little bird motif. Isn't that so pretty? It is. She did a small with that actually in the book. Yes, and it looks like a swallow to me. It the, does. And I love swallows. In the barn next door, oh, the barn swallows out and you know feeding out in the field. It's so beautiful. Mm. So it I just love feels it. Love it, love it, love it. Sorry, y'all. I just feel sticky. <laughs> I just feel gross. Excuse me. <laughs> Tis the season. Tis the season. <laughs> and then let's see. I think I only have one more thing. Oh, okay. And I did do a tiny bit of work on this. This is um, from the Heart Needle <coughs> Art, uh, Mini Quaker oh, yeah. by Wendy Petros. I swear she needs to shoot a new picture because this doesn't look like this. I use the exact colors that are called for. Oh my goodness, is this thing gorgeous. Mm-hmm. What I worked on was the bird and the tree. And I got that a little bit done on the side motif there. And this is on um, 32 count biscuit from the um, from Northumberland samplers. So it is beautiful. I do love those muted colors. I mean, is this not gorgeous? This And this is what it's called for. That pink, I don't know. The pink I may change a little bit, but I love the green. I love the blue. I love the bird. What's that? The bird little brown, brown hen. hen. Yeah, yeah little, brittle, little house brown. I love that. So it's a uh, rose petal. I love this color, old money. That's my favorite. Oh, it's so beautiful. Isn't Joshua that your, tree. Isn't old money your... Um, border in your Brenda G one that you love so much? No, 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 that's, um, that bluishy mm -mm. gray color. No, no, oh. no, that's, um, <laughs> one moment. Cause I won't, sorry. Be, I, I shouldn't won't have done that. To deal with this. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done that. No. It, it looks like old money. No, though. We talked about it on here on that Quaker. Oh yeah. It does look like old money though. Yeah. Whatever it is. It's, it's that color it's... scheme. Let's see, it is, um, here it is, Mountain Miss. Mountain Miss, see, it yeah. is. Yes. Mountain Miss and Old Money are very similar. Yeah, so it depends because Mountain Miss can get pretty bright. It but, can. But so, no, that Old Money is gorgeous. Uh, I love Old Money. I love and any kind of money. No. Little... <laughs> Excuse me. Damn, she needs more money. Old Money, new money. Give her some money, damn. <laughs> two colors are little house brown and sea shelly so yeah i oh sea shelly is that bright pink yes uh, but yes. it's still beautiful it on is. there and i love it love i do it. love those colors <clears throat> and you're right it does look a lot better than well it, it doesn't look let's, it doesn't look bad but the in person is, is so pretty listen people don't trust your covers trust your models i never saw the model bought this anyway and this is what it really looks like. It's just so, so pretty. pretty. Bravo, beautiful Quaker. So Love it, Wendy. Those are all of my whips. You whipped it real good. I whipped it good. So okay. how about you do your finishes? Oh, finishes. Okay, I will save the best for last. So let me see. Don't look. <laughs> Hold on. I got to... Oh, Oh no, did I not bring that? Oh, seriously. I'm, I mean, I'm covering my eyes. Oh no, you don't have to cover your eyes. You don't have to cover your eyes. Um, where is it? Oh no, did I not bring it? If you did not bring, um, we can insert a photo. Hold on. Check your bags. I. Oh my gosh. Oh, I did. Maybe it's. Oh, it's right here. Oh, oh it's right here. Goodness. Okay. So I'm like, I know I brought it. Okay. So I finished in full glory that I was working on. Uh, Blackbird Designs. It's out of the Sweet Land of Liberty book. Um, so I did finish this, you know, on my blanket that I stitch on. That everybody <laughs> makes fun of because I never cut my linen. Um, so I did finish that in full glory. Um, I made a few modifications, but you know, that's all right. But it was a fun, quick little stitch. Oh my, Lanta. So. Would you look at that flag and those flowers and those motifs. 
Oh, it actually was supposed I to have those down it. there, but I left those two off on purpose. I don't oh, want to do them. I love it. So tiny, oh. but hey, you know what? It's look all right. Look how pretty your L looks. Yes. Oh, let's look at this again, This people. is my year of samplers and smalls, but it seems to just be the year of smalls. <laughs> <laughs> because that seems to be all I can manage to do at this point. Um, and then my second finish was my cross-stitch camp um, for June, and this is um, Patriotic Flag Roll by um, Plum Street um, and Paulette. Uh, and actually, there there is words at the end of this. I don't even remember what it says I now. I love how what Tara, Tara like just flat called you out on Instagram. She's like, I like how you leave stuff off. I know. Um, that was a joke, by the way, you guys. Uh, yeah, it, was it was like, was if you joke. know, if you know Tara, she is, she is um, so sarcasm is her funny. love language. So we were joking around. If anybody read that, I was like, you know, people might have read that and been like, oh, oh my gosh, look at that. Who knows she was her. so mean. No, she wasn't. She <laughs> can't be. Um, so this was my June finish. And it's because keepsakes now this is i totally forgot about this until right now barbara had these spools in there that um were um uh what's her face um sorry i didn't mean to say that the wooden uh, spools the they are jeanette douglas's um but there was no price on them and barbara couldn't get in touch with her but there's these beautiful did you see them the wooden spools that were in there well this without the words at the end fits around that spool perfectly. perfectly perfectly this is 46 count um old stationery by seraphim and that little thing will fit right around that spool so i'm going to finish this on that spool i'm just going to wrap it around and pretty you know tie it off there so it's going to look so cute on that spool i didn't i never got the spool it was kind of crazy after stitch con oh, you'll and get it. oh yeah i'll get it but it was crazy after stitch con there was so much going on and so i'll get it from barbara but that's what that's going to be finished on but i haven't got the spool yet to finish it okay are you ready mm -hmm. this is what i'm so excited about so when i was in boston um my parents flew in from salt lake <clears throat> they met us there and we spent the week with them <clears throat> and it was kind of funny what it wasn't funny actually i shouldn't have, that's not the adjective i want to use it was it was such a wonderful week it was super chilled super laid back parker was the only one with us because you know it's hard when your kids get older and grace and lexi obviously couldn't be there with us and um but parker was still there with us it was just the best week and i remember sitting there um I remember sitting there in the week and thinking to myself, you know, my dad is getting older. Like my dad's pushing 80 and I don't know how many more trips like this I'm going to get. And my dad is doing, oh my gosh, he has more energy than I do. He's doing so good. But I just, there was a lot of moments on that trip where I was able to just sit back and be so grateful for the time that I get to spend with them. Um, and what a blessing it is to still have my parents here with me. And um, we just we just had the best time. And it's hard because they live so far away. And um, any of you who know, like whose parents don't live nearby and as they get older, it's it, it always is in the back of my mind that I worry. Like if something happens, I'm just so far away yeah. um, from them. Um, but I was just so grateful for the amazing week that we had. So I told you guys that my stepmom and I were working on the same stocking. We had picked it out at Shepherd's Bush together when I was out in Utah. And it was the, oh, oops, upside down, the Jeffrey stocking, which is actually my dad's name. Perfect, um, because we wanted a shepherd. And Moni stitched hers. Moni actually got done with hers before I got done with mine. But we couldn't wait to get together because... The new stitcher. The new Moni. stitcher. And so... You're amazing. <laughs> she's mm -hmm. already started on her second stocking, her stocking. Now, she made the same mistake I did. And she made that mistake because I made that mistake for her when I told her where to start on the linen. Um, so she had to adjust hers, but that's okay. And, um, it turned out so good, but we were so excited because we were going to finally have them like side by side, hers and mine. I brought hers back with me because I'm going to have it finished here for her. Um, and then I'll have mine finished too. Whatever lucky friend wins. 
<laughs> wins on that draw. There's three of you. One of the three of you are going to be finishing it for me. Oh, yay! <laughs> You, Jan, Eugene or Susan, one of the three of you lucky ladies get to finish these for me. Um, so this is what I could not wait to show you. You oh, guys get to see to them see side them. by side now and the difference between hers and mine. So Moni did it on whatever sh um, Terry gave her at Shepherd's Bush. The um, 18 count cork? Or... No, she has cork now. So she started on her sampler. So she's doing a shepherdess. And my dad's is the shepherd. Um, so I can't Look wait to show you. Stitching is. I know, I'm so For proud of her. One. For Money. her like first ever like stitch. Oh my God. I know. I'm so Look excited. Look at that. She has all the charms because hers is on the full size. There is no charms going to be fitting on oh, mine. So I is... want you to hold this up. And then I will hold up mine. Miss Moni, would you look at you, new stitcher. So, that's Moni's. Okay, back. Look at And that. this is mine. So, same sampler. This is on 46 count old stationery. Now, bring it up. Bring it up. So, oh, yeah. I'm going to roll it through so you can see all of the charms. Oh, they're so cute. I love those charms dangling from his um, little oh, jacket it. there. So, and mine is now complete. So this is mine. Um, and Teresa was right. I was able to get all the houses down in on the bottom and all the little sheep. Um, so I didn't put a name at my, on mine because mine's just going to be like a stocking for the tree. So it's not, oh, clearly, clearly it's not somebody's real stocking. Are they um, getting anything but a lump of coal? <laughs> so mine is done and complete and um, it was so much so fun pretty. to have them next to one another. Oh, um, it it's just so pretty. So I love doing it. Um, yeah, so the scale is like this to this. So, oh, so <laughs> it's so, so much fun. So anyways, those are done. And I joked and laughed with everyone because I said, look, all four corners are now stitched on. I can now cut this piece of linen. <laughs> <laughs> it's about time. You're giving me a heart attack. I am having a hernia. I'm like, cut that stuff and let's get no. that finished. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, so I have Moni's and we're going to get those finished. And because um, she didn't Bravo, have anybody girls. out there. Bravo. She didn't have anybody out there to do. But it was so much fun to stitch that together with her and just to see the difference, obviously, in the. 46 and uh, I think I think shepherd bush stockings on 46 is like the cutest thing ever it really is they are they're darling oh I just love it so much so anyways all right um I, those are my finishes and I have two finishes but I have a bucket of fully finished oh ones. I did not I, have oh I, yeah because you did all that finishing on vacation oh, no huh? I've done more than that okay. I that was a stitching machine okie so. dokie Anyway, I have two finishes that are not fully finished. And the first one here is my um, my cross uh, stitch camp finish. Oh, yes. Uh, my cross uh, this is from Scattered Seed Sampler. It's Mockingbird's message, <laughs> pin keep. But I don't think I'm going to make mine a pin keep. I think I'm going to frame it and hang it on the wall. I think that would look really cute framed. Yeah, I just, um, I really think I want it on the wall around my samplers. Oh, yeah. big old pin keep. That's like Christy talking about Stacy Nash's chicken pin keep, and I was laughing so hard. That thing is big, Christy. <laughs> that thing is really it big. Is. I would not consider that a pin cushion either. <laughs> I mean, but she's stitching it on like 28 count or something. Yeah, so it's, I saw it's, this it's a beast. That's so, I yeah. love the colors yeah. of that. It is so beautiful. Yeah. Well, this was a kit that I got from, um, because this was our, uh, the club. Yep. And so it's all the called for colors and it is on 36 count vintage country mocha. So that is one finish. I just saw she posted the new one that's coming out oh, too. Oh, shh. it's beautiful. Oh, I love it. I know. I love it. I, I love do it. too. And then um, Friday, um, our stitch group, part of our stitch group, um, Diane, who is Hunch Bunches on Instagram, it was her birthday last week. I so wasn't our home yet. I well, was still gone. I know. It was sad that you weren't there. But um, 
uh, Sylvia, our friend from uh, Running with Needles and Scissors, she arranged for us to go to lunch yeah. and have lunch with Diane. And then we went to Stitch and Diane was stitching and I had just downloaded, this is a freebie from Crochet Go Go. And I actually thought you would like it when you oh, saw it. So that, I do. I have not seen this. Did you see somebody post about this or were you just randomly on no, their site? No, I, I got that because uh, I was going through the free patterns. Oh. And um, anyway, I walk in to Stitch and Diane was sitting there finishing. And I said, hey, I just downloaded that. that and it was gorgeous. And it was her fabric. It's all the called for threads. But when I saw it, I was like... I am so going home and stitching that. So she gave me her Di threads. Diane's a tiny stitcher like me too. She yeah. likes the... So tiny. here's the threads in case you need them. No, because you know I'm going to change all those colors. <laughs> uh, well, you haven't seen it yet. <laughs> yeah, seen it. I'm like, I'm looking at that and I'm like, no, I need to probably change those. This is on 46 count oat. And this... Oh, look how tiny that is. Oh my gosh, I love it. Except but I the, don't like the red. The little, this, uh, the, the little arch that goes around it right here, it's in white and this is oat, but it's still very, very light. But the, just the whisperiness of this, I said, I've got to stitch that. So I came home Friday and I knew I had, this is from Hobby Lobby. It is their 46 count that they keep in house. I said, I've got, I've got several pieces of that. Yeah. yeah. I said, I've got several pieces of that. And so I How came. How did you like stitching on it? I loved it. It was. Oh, I've never stitched on oh, it before. Oh, it, it's Zweigart. It's made by Zweigart. I know. I yeah, just and didn't it's know nice. It was and, different. No, 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 no. And so I fell so hard in love with that tiny little thing that I was like, I'm going straight home. Love this. So I came right home on Friday and stitched this right up. And so, and then I printed another copy because, of course, I highlight to make sure that. <laughs> I am going to do this. I'm only... going to change the colors, but I am going to do this. Yeah. So Diane threw her colors at me because she was finishing and she's like, okay, if you got the fabric, now you got the thread. So anyway, I enjoyed that so thoroughly. I got, just came right home and what stitched it right up. I love that. So now you have no fully finishes? I have no fully finishes. Okay. So here comes the, the fully finished extravaganza because I, I'm just going to sit it right here. Okay, so before I left for vacation, before I left for vacation, I felt like if we all take a look at the things that I stitch, I mean, I am, I am so in love with all the big girls. I mean, you throw uh, hands across the sea with 50,000 stitches of over one, it's like, oh, I think I need to stitch that. It's always something huge. And I never, I stitch smalls here and there. And I was like, I just need some instant gratification. And when we were out in Amana, um, Ray Niles from Red Barn Samplers, she actually gave us this mm -hmm. free pattern in our little swag. She walked around and gave everybody this. This is from her new... Um, chart that it's a, a beautiful sampler. I actually, I ordered it. The Keepsakes is getting it in and all of the thread for me. It's called Isabella Roberts. It's gorgeous. Yep. But it, if you if you buy anything from Ray, she sends you this. But I just wanted to stitch something small and have something, an instant gratification. So I sat down one afternoon and I stitched and fully finished this. Um, little Isabella's Flower. And then I just finished the back like that. And and it, it what it did was it w became contagious. <laughs> I was like, this is my year of smalls, people. Uh, my year of smalls. I have a bag in the house that's filled with all these fabrics that could be options, but all the threads too, and charts that are smalls. Because it's like, Shelly, you never do that. And what happens is I get big girl fatigue. You do get big girl fatigue. I get big girl fatigue. Let me tell you, us big girls do get fatigued. <laughs> Especially when we're sweating buckets in the summer. <laughs> so anyway, so, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, hey, 
It's true. Um, so, but this was so fun and it's so cute. Isn't that cute? I do have this. I don't even know where I put this, but I have this. And the this. colors are pretty and it's just it going to really be, pretty. it's just going to be, it's a cutie patootie. And so then I was getting ready to go on vacation and I thought, oh geez. And so I started that bag and I took the bag with me. Now my intentions were just to stitch. So any your smalls bag, my smalls bag, mm -hmm. I, I took a big girl with me, but really I took a big smalls bag. Yeah. And so when I got there, one of the first things I wanted to stitch was I wanted to stitch Sue Bonnet happy 4th of July because our friend Carrie designed this and you can find this for free on Tiger Lily Designs. Now, of course, I completely converted every single mm. bit of this. Oh, those look like list colors. This, oh, so, I love I trimmed it. this up and I finished the 4th of July Sue Bonnet by Tiger Lily Designs. And this I is- I have to stitch that one. Even though 4th is past, it doesn't matter. We're patriotic it, all well, year long in our we're house. Gonna, we're gonna have Labor Day in a minute. Yes. You know? Yes. So um, this is on 40 count. Um, Confederate gray. Is I took. One, is that one smaller than her other one? It looks like it's a little bit smaller. No, as a matter of fact, here's the other one. They're oh. I, they're identical in size. Oh. They're all. They're just. She's changed it. And by the way, I did these to give you. Oh. I printed those for you because I started I, this one, but I haven't finished it. Yeah, yet. they're all the same. That she just changed it. So um, I do have my bag right here because I, I had somebody that. ask. Um, Oh, darn it. I just dropped. Okay. I love Confederate Gray and Straw. Um, but anyway, um, I uh, I converted the colors. And where are they? That is this one. Because I have the colors in this little bag, my little patriotic bag. And so I'm going to tell you right here. Because someone asked me for my conversion so to my Sue Bonnet. Cute. So here you go. You ready? It's Weeks Dye Works Whitewash. I'm gonna go slow. Simply Shaker Gentle Arts Straw Bonnet. That was for the flesh for her hand. Mm -hmm. Classic Color Works Old Blue Jeans. Uh, Dublin Bay by Classic Color I love Works. Dublin Bay. Then Stepping Stones by Classic Color Works. And Country Redwoods by Gentle Arts. That's what I used to do my Sue Bonnet by Tiger Lily Designs. That's got great variegation, that Country Redwoods. <laughs> well, it, it does. And I was very purposeful. When I did the mm -hmm. top of the bonnet, I went horizontal, back and forth, back and forth. But when I did the bill, I went up and down, up and down. And when I did the arm, I did a horizontal, back and forth, back and forth. And you can see yeah, how I was able to do that. And it gave the movement of the bonnet and for the crown. So, yep. yeah. So, for the person who asked for my conversion, I, that's just for you. So that was finish number two. Here, hand up to me. I'll put them back in there. Oh, I'm just going to cram them okay. because they're going in the basket after we're finished. <laughs> and then um, the next thing I did was Pinker and Pumpkin. <gasps> Put she out. has so many great freebies. On she her everything site. is absolutely free. She, oh, you have also to go, salt boxes. I want to do those salt I boxes. I have them printed oh. out. I love them all. Melissa from Pinker and Pumpkin. She um, is a blogger and she's a just an absolute wonderful Instagrammer. She creates all of these patterns and charges not one penny for them. I know. And uh, just God bless her. She is just an asset to our community. We just love you and love your designs. Um, this is Mary's Basket Strawberry Pin Keep. You can go to her um, her blog on blogspot.com, Pinker and Pumpkin, blogspot.com. And it's, um, it's a strawberry and it's got little bees and flowers. And this is it in a strawberry, all finished. Beautiful. And... I know somebody's going to ask, so guess what? Here's my conversion. I'm going to give you my colors right here. I saved it because I just... You did such a good job on the strawberry. Is... <sighs> well, and I'm... It is all beautiful. The, all the finishes that I did when I was on vacation, which was this one, 
this strawberry and two others. I had no sewing machine with me. I had many people say, are you really telling the truth? I swear to you, I'm telling the truth. I had no idea that you I would- pack up your sewing machine and take it with you. I would Alabama. take my featherweight. Oh, would you? I would you? take my oh, featherweight. <laughs> I have before. But um, I didn't know I was going to be finishing, but we were just moseying around. It was just me and my husband. And I said, can you take me to Hobby Lobby? I think I'm going to finish this. He said, without a sewing machine? I said- have needle, have thread, will sew. I, I sew. So anyway, all of the, this was all done. And by the way, I didn't show you an Ohio star on the back. Isn't that no, yummy? You, just, you stuffed this so well. Uh, well, you know me. I got the poker. I, I, yeah. and, <laughs> and I got some, it's got fiber fill in it, but it also has crushed walnut shells. I know, shells. I can feel them down at the bottom. And so. Um, I like a little weight to mine oh, too. Oh, me too. So anyway, um, I got the ribbon at Hobby Lobby. I picked up the wool at the Creative Needle Arts. And then um, I got some, this was just the thread from mm -hmm. the strawberry, but the regular thread, I just used natural cotton thread. And I finished that by hand and this by hand, and I got two more, but I'm gonna give you my conversion to the colors that I used for my strawberry. Cause I'm sure you'll ask, somebody will ask, picnic basket because it makes the best baskets by um, Gentle Arts. Raspberry Frost by Gentle Arts. Chives by Gentle Arts. Carriage Black by Gentle Arts. And uh, Cider Mill Brown, which is one of my favorite colors by Gentle Arts. That's what I used to do Mary's Basket uh, Strawberry Pin Keep from Pinker and Pumpkin. So that is that finish, and I can throw those in the basket to finish that. And then I went on, it's, this is part of my haul too. Um, I, when I went uh, over to Creative Needle Arts, mm -hmm. I saw these fragments in time, and she had the whole season there, and I was like, oh geez, I love yeah, that. I absolutely ones. love that. And so, this is my Fragments and Times 2018 chart number one. <clears throat> and I used all the called for colors. And this, I love this fabric. I bought the fabric when I was there as well. It's by Dames of the Needle. It's called Dirty You. <laughs> E-W-E. And of course, anything that has to do with sheep, because you know I'm a shepherdess. I love sheep. And so that is on 40 count dirty you and i could not find um i bought um a two fat quarter fabric um bundles at yeah. hobby lobby but nothing matched this so i just cut another piece of linen and put it on the back so and this is ribbon it's exactly like this ribbon just a different color and i ran my needle down the center and gave it a pull and ruched it is how I did that. And so that is Fragments in Time, chart number one from 2018. That turned out so good. And then I'm the last thing I finished <laughs> when I was down there, I bought this book and I actually was standing in Creative Needle Arts. And just a disclaimer, I'm pretty thousand percent sure I already had this book, but this is In Friendship's Way by Blackbird Designs. I bought this there. I'm pretty sure I have it at home. I, ha I have it here. I haven't checked since I got home, but this is Mildred's strawberry. There's a whole section in this book on strawberries. And I have now decided that I am going to go through all of my Blackbird books and I am going to stitch all of the strawberries. And um, you know, the, it, she talks about on this page, uh, strawberries are always in season. And, um, but anyway, when I started stitching this, everybody, um, I, you've heard me talk about how I give butterflies to my daughter. So when I saw Mildred's uh, strawberry, it had this butterfly on it. And I got this great idea. I put 1998 there. That's the year I gave birth to my daughter, Erin. 
And so it has an E and a B, my daughter's initials. So here's my big giant idea. I'm gonna go through, this has got a bunch of strawberries in it, but I'm going to put a silver bowl out and I'm going to fill it with strawberries that I do that have the initials in the year that all the kids were born, all oh, the yeah. grandkids are born. Jerry and I maybe all branch out and do our parents and our grandparents, but I want to have a giant bowl of strawberries <coughs> that I've done like that. But this is the ribbon that I used on this. This is what you can do with this ribbon. You can ruche with it. Isn't that cool? And so I did the little stitch up the back. But anyway, um, that is my finishes. Oh, there's quite a few strawberries oh, in here. Oh, there's a huh? whole, it, it, yes, it's a whole section. But I thought, not only in this book, you see in a lot of Blackbird books, the strawberries. So I did, all of these were done with a needle and thread and finished on vacation. That's a great idea. But then I, love I, that got, idea. I got home and um, I started and finished Berry Bird by Scarlet House. And I did this on, oh, wait a minute. Miss okay, Tanya. so this is Dirty You, this is Dirty You, and these were Confederate Gray. This was done on 36 count Confederate Gray, but I finished oh. it, and then I fully finished it. Into this, I ripped apart a clock, and the finish that I did, I did the same way on the back, just with a different thing around the edge. But anyway, I thought this Did you already have that? This clock, yes. Don't you remember I said a couple la oh, last year? Oh, yeah, 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 I yeah, bought, yeah, yeah. I don't know, yeah. I bought 10, 11 clocks. yes. Because they were half off. They, they were, were Hobby Lobby ones, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. So anyway, this, no joke, people. This one over one strawberry, I have completely... I am converted 100% to tent stitches on my one over one, um, like Brenda, because I started up in the top of the bow right here, the, the top of the greenery right here, doing a full stitch. And then I, I did that with just a tent stitch and I thought, Oh, that looks so much better. When you, I, I never had switched before like that. And to see the difference that quickly, then I did the rest of the strawberry and tent stitches because the little strawberry in its mouth is one over one. And I was like, yeah, I am never doing full crosses one over one again because it looks so beautiful and delicate. So that is the last finish. I really so, love that one. So yeah, seven finishes oh, in six so weeks. <laughs> so... That was so much fun. Now I've got all these little instant gratifications that just, it's like, I have promised myself, Shelly Fry, you're gonna start doing smalls too because it really takes the edge off of the, the big girl uh, fatigue. Because I think you get so excited and then you work, 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 and they're so big and it just takes a hot, hot minute to get them done. And it's like, you just need a little instant gratification. So, I mean, I'm all about that. Not that I'm giving up my big girls, I because uh, I love them all too much. It's a so, lot. But, so that was fun. I think I, uh, Tara had said um, she's stitching um, land that I love. And... <laughs> She had texted. She was like, "Does it? Do you ever feel like you've been stitching for days and it literally looks like you haven't and done, done anything?" Thing. And I'm like, "Well, because you're stitching like a beast, like land. I mean, land that I love. Holy moly, it's ginormous. It yeah, absolutely is. So there is something about doing those little smalls and having finishes and able to like fully finish them yourself, like you did. And it, I don't know. It just does feel good. When you're it stitching does. massive things like that that yeah. you're like, this is never going to end. Yeah, like Hannah that I, I started from Hands Across the Sea. I mean, I don't mind one over one. I'm not dogging one over one, but there's massive amounts of oh, one Oh, is that over that one. really colorful one yes. that you're doing? Oh, yeah. yeah. And yeah. so, I mean, you know, it's like, okay, this is going to take me a minute and a day. And so to be able to whip out something and then just walk up and or take a needle and thread and finish it. It's like, oh, that's awesome. Yeah. It does feel good. That's why this is my year of smalls. <laughs> so anyway, so then onward to StitchCon. 
StitchCon. Which know? we're a little late to the party. Clearly, okay. it's been don't care. weeks later. <laughs> so most people have already rehashed StitchCon and everything that's happened. And um, so we don't have to go into like a full, full no, recap. No. <laughs> we had a wonderful time. Listen to me. I'm getting under. I just got under the thing again. We had a wonderful time. Barbara is the consummate hostess. She is, for She's sure. She's the hostess with the mostess. Um, the service project this year, I'm so proud mm -hmm. of that. Uh, and um, I thought Christine Byrne and I were going to take it down in the hallway because I was bidding against her for a thread pack. And really, for me, it was just raising money for, you know, the thing. But I really would have liked a full set of, you know, Threads. What were those? Are silken <laughs> well, color I, threads? Um. It, well, I bid on all the thread packs, so I can't remember. But that which one, one, the one that she got, I think, was, was the, the full sil set of silken silks, colors. Yeah. yeah. And so we got thread upwards gather. to almost a thousand dollars, and she turned around and went, and I went, <laughs> and so she bid one more time, and I said, "I bow out. Go ahead and take them." <laughs> you know. So, but really, in the end of the day, for when we're all there. Um, and the service project is um, their auctions and there's a raffle and Barbara raises money for some of the most wonderful things. And this yep. is a full banner year. How much money did we raise this year? Oh, I don't know. Did they ever give a grand total? Yeah, oh, I didn't see it if they the did. 20, 20 to 20, 20 to $30,000 we raised at StitchCon that is going to go and um, the, the service project was for an organization locally that helps handicapped kids and um, they adults with disabilities yes. and yeah and they need they want to put in a second pool it's a, a pool where they go in and the, it's a therapy pool and it's fifty thousand dollars so um, they were trying to get grants and all that and miss barbara showed out and so did all of the stitchers and i'm so proud to be part of our Absolutely. community so that was so wonderful i am so proud of that yeah um, yeah so way to go barbara girl so i'm sure some of these places probably think it's just some cross stitchers how much money can they probably really oh <laughs> <laughs> there's full sets of silks full sets of, there was a full set of weeks and it was over 300 colors that got auctioned. So yeah, also, I made a fool of myself over um, those. <laughs> also, to the companies that donated all of those things, like it was such a blessing. Um, to Thread Gatherer, two weeks to the linen dyers who donated linen. Um, yeah, there was some pretty amazing. A uh, Barbara who uh, auctioned off a. Uh, Stitch Con package for next year, airfare, hotel, the whole the, works. all of it. Like, yeah, there there were some pretty amazing prizes. Yeah, there was. It was worth going and buying yourself a bunch of raffle tickets. Yep. So it was good. But um, so when we got there, you get when you get there, you get your envelope in your passport, which of course I'm sure you've seen. Your name's on it. Your passport comes. I'm not opening it yet because there's patterns in there. But so and you get a goodie bag, and this is the Stitch Con goodie bag. Nice tote bag, and it has goodie yumness with inside of it. And so, um, do you want me to show a few things? We can show there? a few. Th I know we did get a lot. We're probably not going to be able to show everything, um, but we also need to make sure you guys know how appreciative we are of um, all that was given and uh, for those that came up and talked to us and met us and um, we got a lot of really beautiful things and we're just we're so grateful to every single one of you for yes, sure absolutely first thing I want to show is Judy Whitman precious Judy Whitman Love her. now listen the goodies are gone. I ate them, okay? Oh, I should have brought mine. <laughs> I know, I have mine still. <laughs> there was a thing of truffles and then there's a package of nuts. They were all from local Kalamazoo um, businesses because Kalamazoo is where she's from and lives. So she gave us some Bluebird of Happiness floss drops. <laughs> Look at this cute bag they came into. Yeah. These these are all the things I asked Shelly. Can you just show yours so I don't have to lug all mine over to your house too? Look at that adorable little bag. Oh, I love it. And she gave us the floss drops and then she gave <laughs> us the Christmas ornaments number five in um, our little bag. And she just said, I just wanted to come up and tell you. I think that's her new one. Um, no, there's more than that. Oh, no, no. Oh, is there? Yeah, I don't know how many there are. Yeah, because uh, I have books seven and eight. Because uh, I went in and got 
some more of them. Um, so, but no, but Judy, she, she was so to, generous to come and give a special gift to you and I. I mean, she is just such a beautiful person. Love you so much, Judy. Thank, Thank you, Judy. You. We do love you. I hope you know that. Yes, we do. And then Christine Hollis. I love this. My I know. favorite color. And within it. I wasn't bringing my barbecue sauce with me today. Like some Kansas City barbecue sauce. I love, um, this was actually a great idea, Christine. I love that you gave something different. From and, home. Yes. Fiorelli Jack Stack Barbecue Kansas City Original Barbecue Sauce in yep. a hanky. So perfect. And this was so adorable. And this was some floss drops and then a pin. tomato pin from, uh, from, this is uh, uh, just, just another, another button, button company. company. And so that was so sweet. Thank, Thank you, Christine. Thank you so much, Christine. And then Linda Hokey, our yes. sweet, precious Linda. I actually adore this bag. I actually brought mine too, but that's just because I had threads in it. Linda, I told you. Aren't they you, beautiful? You she's, did such a good job, they're friend. Gorgeous. She's part of our stitch she's group. And the butterflies inside of it. And the guys. oranges and the butterflies. And she hooked some scissors to it. And then I, so many beautiful people came by. And look, floss drops with butterflies in yep. it. Uh, people came and brought us goodies, and I just began to fill it with the floss drops. Um, she did put a pair drops. of scissors in there. People brought pens. Um, our friend Colleen, Rebel Stitcher, brought yep. us a pen. Yep. And um, anyway, so this was a special gift to each of us in our stitch group that Linda handmade for us. Very, yes. very sweet. You did a beautiful job, Linda. She did a beautiful job. And then... Do you have um, looking, Rose's Yes, pillow? I do. Yes, I have I, it in mind, too. I was going to say, here it is. Rosie, our sweet, her sister, she lives in Utah. She handmade these pillows for us. And I, I literally, I brought everything in. in the Mine's still in the wrapper, too. <laughs> uh, a bunch of people walked around and brought gifts. We did a little, um, a little baggie, and we put candy and our floss drops oh, in them. Oh, mine's in the car. We were oh, I this. should bring it. I'll have Shelly put a picture Who in there. because this? Um, this is this from one. Christine and oh, yes. Tammy. Yeah. yeah, Tammy Blaylock, yep. a creative country girl, and Christine uh, Byrne. And then, I mean, look at this. Mine's in the car. I should go grab it. But I'll have Shelly bring it because my fabric's different. But um, everybody, they walked around giving oh these to gosh, everybody. I know. But look at this pink cushion. I love I it. I mean, it's just so cute. So we got so many things. And then um, Crazy Band Lady, I love her. <laughs> she, uh, Zan. <laughs> Zan is she, the best. Uh, she thought of me. She likes to antique. And she found this jar and brought You've been it with her. taken like a professional over there, Zan. I see all your haul all the time now. Little mill on it. So this is going to be. I know. It's hard to see that. You should put something behind it so yeah, they can oh, see the one, mill. Yeah, one minute. You can't really see the mill that I well brought behind them. it. Oh, I don't it's know. It's hard that. to see. Oh, it's and a mill on it. I mill. promise. I promise. I promise. And then I haven't the seen daily, a glass jar with a mill on it like that. Now I did bring this. The Daily Stitcher. You can buy one of these I if you go to the Daily this. Stitcher. Love them. This is a And that's her pen. It was one of my favorite ones. Yes. She brought these for me and Liz and she had some that you could to sell. But this is Do you see this? Liz actually is filling out a book can y'all believe that Showing like the book <laughs> i don't fill out anything i'm i'm horrible at that look at this so the front page says pattern designer and then called for i don't ever do called for so i just put down what i use and fabric size and stitch count um and then here's why i really like this because do you see this floss there's like a huge long thing of it over there. And this is finishing supplies, which I don't finish, so I wouldn't probably put that, I might. And then another space for um, extras to write in. But because I do conversions on basically everything I stitch, I usually don't have enough space to put what I do. And so I love that that has all of that space there for me to do that. I just put the date up here of when I started, but I've actually been 
writing down my stuff Good in my you. book. Can you believe I'm that? Proud of you. I'm horrible at that. You know, everybody always asks, oh, what did you change that to? I don't know, because I usually just pull out colors as I go. I don't ever keep track of it. But I do love this book, and you can get it. So it's the dailystitcher.com. Look at that cute girl. Kid it up project book. Oh my gosh. That that's like Laura. Laura Duet. Do you see that cute picture? How adorable that is that? That is Laura Duet. So Anyways, I loved that book. Thank you so, so much for that. It was so kind of you. Well, and then I want to okay. give it, I want to talk about this really quick. Okay. Um, Jackie B, Jackie's Creative Inspirations on YouTube, she contacted Carrie and I before um, StitchCon and said, hey, listen, I have some things um, that my family made, and I know that you two are the only people I know that do what you do. You know, um, Carrie takes stitching and I take antique quilts and make things with them and she said I want I couldn't think of two better people on the planet to give these things to so she came and got Carrie and I and took us up to her hotel room and we were gobsmacked when we got up there not only could the items that she gave us be more specific to who we are it was just so generous because I just don't know if I could let go of something um, so treasured and special, but I understand that, you know, you, you got to let go of things. I, I have a trouble with that. I don't let it go. I don't. <laughs> so, but anyway, she brought a quilt top for each of us. And, and if you haven't seen Carrie Tiger Lily's, um, recap, she gave her a quilt top that was, um, Sunbonnet Sam. And, um, the, and it had, beautiful um, fabrics that were feed sack and then the uh, grounding fabric and it was sugar sack and I actually I was sitting there telling them that but then um, one of my favorite colors is yellow and she brings this quilt top out and this was for me and it's all done in feed sack and this mm. is sugar sack and this beautiful beautiful butter yellow and she said all that she really wanted, and this was all sewn with needle and thread. This is a full quilt oh, top. Yeah. And so this will not be end up in my shop. No, it will not, because this is too much of a treasure. I told Jackie, she wanted me to make her a project bag, and I said, oh honey, we're not gonna take that make project bag with that. We're not gonna do that. And I said, how about I make you a pillow set for your bed? So I'm going to take one row off and I'm going to make pillow a set of um, throw pillows for her bed and then up I if this is going on to my long arm quilter and I'm going to quilt this and this is going to hang at the bottom of my bed to remind me of my sweet beautiful memory of Jackie and her kindness to me That's and her gorgeous. family it's just beautiful and I am so uh thankful and our community and thinking of one another thinking about me I can't believe that she would sit back and think about me but so um then um I took this one it's a J um I do a hanky quilt and I'm gonna make a hanky quilt and I'm gonna put Jerry's initial right in the middle of it that's for my husband and then some linens and some hand crocheted laces and I am so thankful. Um, Jackie, I love you. I thank you. I hope you're feeling better. Bless her heart. Now, let me just tell you, you are looking at one lucky chick because Jackie got COVID and she was the first person at StitchCon with COVID. And guess what? So did um, Carrie. So the day after we went to her hotel room, Jackie thank got God COVID. I didn't get it this year. Oh my gosh. I did not get it, but Carrie did. So the both of them, Carrie, boy, she was sick. She was good and sick. And Jackie was sick, but I, everybody is well, I believe now. And so God bless them. I'm so happy that um, they're well. But um, that was something very special that I got there. And you didn't do the Smalls Exchange, did Nope, you? I didn't. Well, I did do the Smalls Exchange. And um, the recipient of mine was Cynthia Fuller, Cynthia Fuller from Yazoo City, Mississippi. And um, she uh, was so... Oh, no, that's who gave me mine. That's who gave me mine. Um, but my recipient, she has shouted me out and tagged me and everything on Instagram. I believe her name is Michelle. She was one table over and so elated with what she got from me. I will insert a picture here. I'm doing this so I remember to insert the picture. But um, I did a clock finish and um, it was from me to thee from Blackbird Designs. Mm -hmm. 
Um, I can only go back a week on Instagram to what I've been tagged in, and so I can't find the post, but I will put a picture of what I gave to her. But Cynthia um, Fuller from Mississippi, this is what she made and I received from her and it's gonna live right here in the studio. I love it. I love the tomato and scissors. So, so sweet. She was just precious. And uh, along with that, she gave me a Sweet Wing Studio and I met, you know I love Susan. Susan O'Brien, measure twice, count once. She gave me that. And then she gave me a bag of goodies. Um, there's thread, there's scissors, there's um, pretty pins, just all the goodness. So I just thank you uh, so much for that, Cynthia. And um, I can take it out of the bag and use it now. So I'm gonna decorate with that this afternoon. So um, what do you got over there? <laughs> you want me? I don't know. Grab something or I'm going to keep going. <laughs> are we, is uh, that, um, I have, are you want to haul now? I was going to say, um, I think that that was just part of the, those things. I think, did you buy haul at, um, StitchCon? A little bit. And I was given some things. Um, I was given, uh, charts by a few people. Okay. Um, and, and you know what? Someone gave us a big envelope of charts for giveaways. Thank you, thank you, thank yes. you. I wasn't at the table, neither were you. But we thank you and appreciate it, and they are going to yes. go into good use. So they will. Thank you. They will. They were waiting on the table. And so I've got StitchCon haul. Um, so, well, I can do StitchCon Yeah, go haul. right ahead. Oh, oh, show the bag. Oh, yeah, because I did bring this. Oh, oh. Diane from our Stitch group, she oh. did these for all of us. those these little project bags she did for all of us she made them and stitched the little bag yep oh look at that cute little ladybug on there so yeah um so that was from diane um oh, stitch con haul so how, what do i want to do this um those two came from these came from you. Um, that was what? Oh, okay. So, well, these were the ones you gave me. Um, all my B charts. Um, <clears throat> and that. Okay, I don't even know where to start. Just go ahead and show what you, you your haul from okay. Stitch Okay, so Shell found all of these B patterns in there and got them. So that's Rovaris. That's a Lucy Beam. Bees. You can see the theme because you know I love bees. Got Bee Farm. Manny Dadani. Or Donna. Um, that's another Rovaris one. And, oh, so this I got from Sylvia. She brought this down for me. I mean, I got it at StitchCon technically, but she brought it from her house. So this is one of Sylvia's new releases, Star Spangled Shaker. I'm so in love with this. I cannot wait to stitch these little smalls. Oh, they're so cute. Um, she finished them in little shaker boxes and little pillows. So I don't know yet how I'm going to finish them, but this is one of her new charts that she released. And so she brought that down to me at StitchCon. Um, so I got that. <coughs> I did get this in the annex I, um, as well. This is Jeanette Douglas, Flowers for You. Um, so I got that in there. And then, um, do you know who? That was Rovaris. And the, I got, these I are Rovaris? Rovaris. Oh, I didn't know where you had got these from because Shelly had got these in the annex. And um, I, I bought some too, but I'm going to let her just show them. These, these are needle books. Needle books. Look at that. And look at the little mother of pearl 
um, hooks for you. Show them the, the the big to deal on the front. It's my oh, favorite yeah, the part. The little strawberries. They're pin cushions. I mean, pin cushion things, not strawberries. Um, now this one, I have drawn a pattern I for this. I love this actually. And I'm actually going to make some of those for my my shop out of old quilts. Now I won't be putting this pin cushion on the front, but that I love. But I don't. I know love this design. Well, let me show you. This is going to be the neatest thing that I tell you that I have this one right here. I have decided is my Potoki. It fits right over the knob and can hang there. So you can have your scissors, which this right here, you oh, hook your scissors on this okay. and then slide your scissors in there. Oh, okay? oh, I didn't even realize that was a yes. little pocket in there. Yeah, see oh, this stitch yes. Right there? So um, you can have some needles, you can have your scissors in there, and then this fits right over the knob on your patoki. So you're always ready to stitch. Mm. So I drew, these are Rivaras. I don't know if she sells them herself except outside of um, retreats, but this design particularly right here, I am actually, I really like this that is going to be new. Design. Yeah, I'm doing a, a shop update and I'm making some of those out of old quilt pieces to go in my shop because I am in love with that. I do love that. Um, but love I that. thought of Liz with these because look, it's got the wheelbarrow and the watering can and all, and this one's pretty. I love that I, so much. I do love this one a lot. I, I This is just different and unique. I just haven't so seen. Un, it's such a unique idea. Yeah. Oh, that is really cute. Okay. So. There's that. Um, I know Zan also made us. Yes. She had little needle things Blinders. and she made us um, little thread bed things, the cute sunflowers. And that was from Tony too. Tony yeah, did make those, us that they're, one. They're coasters. Oh, coaster. There you go. Little coasters. Look at that. Fabric. Tony uh, Stitches in Kentucky. Tony yeah. Stitchinski. Tony Stitchinski. Um, <laughs> she so did a good job. She did. And then that's from Brandy. Oh, that is so <laughs> cute. Oh, oh, my friend Brandy made it. So if you don't follow Brandy on um, Instagram, her little tour, little coot. That's cute there. Um... Anyways, so Jessica, um, Sweetwater Stitcher, Love her. had come over and we were talking because she had a surprise me box curated by Susan. Um, and by Susan, uh, Susan, keepsake Susan. Um, because Susan did 50 surprise me boxes for both weeks, and so Jessica had gotten one and her surprise me box was fully kitted summer at cherry hill by brenda gervais um now she had not had this fully kitted but she did have this chart at home she hasn't stitched it uh but susan did such a beautiful job curating these um a lot of times with silks and other things. So Jessica had come by and we were talking and she said, this looks like something you'd like. I actually already have this chart, but I got it in the surprise me box. Do you want it? And so she was kind enough to pass that chart on to me. Um, Cause now she has it fully kitted, um, but she didn't need both charts. So thank you, Jessica. I really appreciate that. And then Miss Tony Weiss, Stitches in Kentucky had gotten this at a retreat, the retreat that it came out at, which I don't remember which retreat this was at. This was a retreat piece. It's now been released. Um, it just came out with her new releases, like when she did the patriotic needle roll and stuff. So um, Tony had saw that and thought that I would enjoy that. So she passed that on to me. It's called Christmas in July. Um, and then Sweet Rose, our Sweet Rose from Utah. Um, technically, this would actually work for Shelly and I, but because um, <laughs> it has my bees and it has her sheep. sheep. Um, but she had gotten this up at Shepherd's Bush. This is a Shepherd's Bush, um, or she had gotten it at Shepherd's Bush. It's a Chessie and me, but it's called Buzzing Around You. Um, it's so stinking cute. So she had um, given me that at StitchCon. And then my sweet Jan, Jan Calvert. So when Jan went up to the craft gallery retreat, I was supposed to go to that. And um, 
I ended up having to cancel and I wasn't able to be there. But uh, quite a few of the ladies went, of, of our stitch group, went up to the retreat. And um, I asked Jan, I said, look, I know that there's a lot that I want, and there actually is. There's a light that they got there at Craft Gallery that I have to order. I absolutely love it. But I said, if there is any way possible, because I knew Teresa was going to be having her new releases there, um, and the stores hadn't even gotten them yet because she was, they had literally just come from the printer. Um, but she was going to have her new releases there. I said, if there's any way you can get this new chart for me, I would be so happy. I guess um, that there was only like, I, I'm not even kidding. It was either three or five of these. That was it. Like in the whole place. I'm not, I don't know if Teresa just didn't bring more or what, but Jan was able to snag one of them because I know Tony said she wanted it, but, um, they didn't have it, but this was Teresa's new chart wisdom that she, um, had got out and she had there at the retreat and Jan said, I went straight in and went straight for it and grabbed it for you. So I was so excited because I had asked her to buy it for me. I love this chart so much. I will change a few of the colors, but I actually like a lot of the colors in it. But the reason why I love this chart is because I don't think there's any truer words. Um, and I cannot wait to stitch it. And for those words alone is why I wanted this beautiful chart. But it says, tis not fruitful to lift one up by belittling another. And I love that. I love it too. I love it so much. I love um, it too. And the, uh, it's just beautiful. It is so beautiful. And then it says love one, love one another at the bottom. Love it. It's oh, Teresa, seriously. You she just... could do no wrong. Mm, it is so gorgeous. So thank you, Jan, for fighting the crowds and, and getting that for me when you were up at Craft Gallery. I very much appreciate that. Okay, that was my StitchCon haul. Okay, in my StitchCon haul, um, I stopped on my way. Oh, I did get Lynn in there, too. You show it. I, I mean, does it really matter? <laughs> I, I get Lynn in all the time. I got some needle and flax. I got Hemingway and Steinbeck. Me, too. I bought a fat half of Hemingway. Hemingway um, and Steinbeck. 36 Hemingway, because you always have to have Rachel's linen on hand, like in, in duplicate. <laughs> yes. I can't have enough. Oh, and I love, love, love this Sweet Mean Studio. It's called Peachtree Park Sampler. It was so cute. There's this too, but I don't know if you remember who the lady was really. Oh, do you remember? She's the lady who gave this. We'll talk about this okay. in just a minute. Okay, I, I brought that because I was like, oh, but I don't remember. I, mine's next to my bed because I've been wearing it. I know, it. I know. So, um, We'll tell you about that in just a second. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I bought Lena's Pin Keep Pillow. It is a full kit with all of the finishing oh. from JBW Designs. I got that at StitchCon. Oh, I love that fabric. Oh, I love it too. And then went uh, Whiter Than Snow, which is one of um, Running With Needles and Scissors, our friend Sylvia's new design. She had a beautiful trunk show. It was there. And I was so glad for everybody to see the love it in person. It's I know. Oh, I still love it. It's just beautiful. Love it. The but picture I, doesn't do it justice. No, no. Then I bought American uh, Marking Samplers by JBW. It's got all of those in there. And then um, I bought this for a particular reason. Um, My this is from Sambri Stitches and it's called the Rhoda Bendel Samplers. But I bought it because of this right here. It is the alphabet in Hebrew. And um, I'm a born again Christian and we all are from the root of David. And um, I have never had anything in Hebrew um, in stitching and I was so excited. I know that Works by ABC has some things, mm -hmm, but this is the Hebrew alphabet. And I thought, oh my gosh, I have to have something with the Hebrew alphabet on it to go on the wall. Um, so this will not be a pillow. This will, I may even stitch this on a bigger count. I may like stitch it on 28 count so it's bigger because I really want it to be noticeable. And what so is, what does that's that? her daughter's name in, um, or her daughter, is it her daughter? No, one moment. Um, oh. let me see that it's, is it her grandmother? One second. She's Jewish. That is, she's celebrating her Jewish roots. 
But anyway, well, I think it's her. I think it's her. Well, I just wonder. I didn't know if that was a specific name. Oh, uh, no, this is her daughter. This is oh, right okay. because this is Age her daughter's. Yeah. This is her daughter's name in Hebrew. Oh, okay. So anyway, I probably won't put her daughter's name on there, but I want to stitch that Hebrew that Hebrew alphabet because I'd like to have that in my house. And so, and then I also got this from Sambri Stitches. It's called I'd Pick You because it's got strawberries on it. It's cute as can be. It's just a little, a little, little, and I need to have some littles, remember? And then speaking of works by ABC, this is Rosanna Desiree. This was uh, there. She had a trunk show. And that it, I bought all of that in the annex at StitchCon. So, other than that, I did go antiquing with Christine Byrne, um, with Tammy Blaylock, Creative Country Girl. Zan. Zan went, um, Sylvia, Diane. We all went to the antique mall, and you will have seen some roll-in pictures um, at the beginning of this video. And I maybe go back to the beginning, and you'll see us all standing together. Look really closely. There's a um, one of the counter workers at the antique mall photo bombed us. Oh really? He's like in the background. It was <laughs> hilarious. And so I didn't buy a whole lot, but what I did buy, I do want to share because I found something that is probably it's up there in my top ten favorite things I've ever antique found. But we went in and. This is from Atlantic City, New Jersey. It's an antique handkerchief box. And it's suede, oh, wow. it's suede leather. And everybody's doing the little boxes of which Liz and I both have. But I thought this would be so neat mm. to do a stitching box out of this. All I'm gonna do is maybe put a piece of antique quilt in it. That's it. But place some stitching things and put it on the footstool where I stitch in my living room. That's gorgeous. Is that the neatest thing you ever I've never saw? never seen that A there. handkerchief box. And I showed that to Jerry and I said, is this neat? It's going in the living room where I stitch. Oh, it's beautiful. And put all my little, put a pair of scissors, you know, my little, that thing dinger, that, that you, the, the snag dab it in there. So this is gonna go in the living room, but I, I have left it in the bag and I can't tell you how happy I'm making this video because I really wanna put that in the living room. Then, okay, you know, our obsession with the little snow sewing baskets. I've never bought one this small. Zan bought two that day. But this is my smallest one I have found, and it's in fabulous condition. It has all the coins, the glass, the beads, blah, blah, blah. So excited. Love that. And then we went, we, we were getting ready to leave, and we found a quilt dealer that had all of this. This is real original for real feed sack. And mm. I could, every time I find real feed sack, I buy it. So this is two of them. It's but, gorgeous. So I, I have a, a very large collection of feed sack. And at this point now, I think that I could collectively cut some of it and make myself a quilt with it. So I will have a feed sack quilt that I make myself. But so cool. Isn't that neat? I love it. So I got that. Right when we were walking out the door, we go by this dealer and here's some cut pieces of old quilts. And I was standing there and Christine's like, just pick it up and buy it. So of course I picked it up and bought it. And then every old quilt, that Zan took video of me and has it on Instagram shopping with me. And uh, we looked at every old quilt and I'd say to her, nope, 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 they're asking too much. Nope, 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 this, that, and the other. But I did find this will go into my inventory for um, cutting up. Mm -hmm. But it's imperfect. You see, this is why we call these cutter quilts. There's rips and tears in places, frayed edges. And uh, so you'll find this one day in the shop sometime soon. I got that. And then I was standing right at the counter, and this was standing right next to the counter. This is stitched. I bought this for a dollar, and I thought it was precious. I'm going, and she's even got a little etoile gold in her hair. Somebody stitched this, and it ended up at the antique mall. I'm going to make something for my granddaughter. Oh, that'll be perfect. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, it is. 
So Veda is going to get something made from Mimi in that. So that was from our antique trip to uh, when we were at StitchCon. So that covers StitchCon completely right there on my end. Yes. And then uh, we had our vacation. So did you, you want to talk about your fun stuff on vacation real quick? Um, sure. <laughs> Uh, we drove out to Boston. Um, we stopped for the night in uh, Rochester on the way out. Uh, Tim and Park went to a baseball game. Um, and I wanted to spend the night there so that I could go to Hobby House, of course. So... Um, I had been to Hobby House once before last summer, actually on my birthday, we were in Rochester. And so that was the first time I got to go. And then I went back this year. Um, the stitching shop, they've added more stuff. Um, it's always beautiful. It is a kind of like little log cabin. Um, so cute. It's really cute. Like the, it, when you walk in, you always see the pictures of like the fireplace that goes up through the middle of the cabin and they have like a little sitting area there and it's so cozy. Um, and it, it's smaller on the inside there, but they have like every space jam packed. But the purpose of going to Hobby House, even though I love going there and seeing everything in there, I mean, it's a beautiful stitch shop. Why would I not like it? But the sole purpose of this trip was I needed to get some Swasser Fiends and Tudor Silks. Because I do 46 over 1, right. FYI. Yes. I, with Swasser Fiends and Tudor Silks, you can do beautiful full crosses. crosses. And it looks stunning. But I could have ordered those online because there's quite a few shops that sell them. You but can never see the you can't. I had to see them for myself. I knew what I wanted, but I had to see them for myself. And so really that was the purpose of this trip. I'm not going to show you all of them, but I got a whole bag of Swasser Fiends. So Swasser Fiends are by Obera Swa. They come on spools just like the 103s do. And then the Tudor Silks are made by Gloriana and they are over dyed silks so swasser fiends are solid colors uh, uh tudor silks are over dyed silks both of them are crazy like fine 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 threads but their colors are beautiful and so i stocked up i probably got about mm, 15 colors in there i wanted basics i wanted blues whites browns blacks if i'm doing 46 over one it's usually either a face like a person or it's words so or i just birds or birds so i did get blues reds greens blacks flesh colors um brown so i kind of stuck with like basic colors i just wanted like a good basic stash of those for when i need to do over one um those those you could you can stitch on 46 um they're just like over two they're just very fine they really are meant for, for 56, 56 um or 46 or 40 over one when you're doing tiny little stitches so um that was really the purpose of the trip that was my main goal or my main purpose in going there was i wanted to stock up on those silks and see them in person. But of course you can't go into Hobby House and not buy stuff. So um, I was able to get some 46 um, Winter Woolens by Seraphim. And sometimes with Winter Woolens and what's the other one? Winter White or something like that. I don't know. I just need to see them in person sometimes because the dye lots can be different. But this was a beautiful um, dye lot of that. So I did get some of that. I got some 46 Thornfield, uh, Needle and Flax. I got 46 Newport Beach, which is actually probably my favorite. Well, I like, I do like. Hawthorne is probably my favorite. But Newport Beach is like a close second. I absolutely so love pretty. Newport Beach. You can't really see it. It's, it's a very kind of, it has almost like a beigey, pinkish undertone to it she doesn't do Newport Beach all that much but um I do love that color and this is all they had I bought what they had they didn't have very much um they had tons of Thornfield <laughs> but 
And then um, I got the Mary Alcorn drum kit from there. And um, I got the threads. And as shocking as this may be, I'm actually going to probably stick mostly to the call for because Kathy really did a beautiful job with the thread colors on this. And this drum in real life is, it's a, it's a big drum. Like it's, it's big and she did it on 40 count. I will do it on 46, but it's a big girl. Um, but I actually decided I'm not gonna stitch the top part of this. I'm just gonna stitch from this red line down, the birds and the alphabet. So it's gonna be a squatty drum. I don't have a squatty drum and I thought it would be fun. So I got that and um, the thorn field that goes with it. And then I picked up some 28 count light taupe and wheat lugana for when I'm doing 28 over one um, because I had some of that. And then I got um, Sweet Berry, Sweet Freedom Berry by Erica Michaels. Um, this is actually gonna be my August cross stitch camp project because I have never done a strawberry. stitched an Erica Michaels strawberry, strawberry. before. Yeah, yeah. Um, actually I have stitched things and then Susan made them into strawberries but I've never actually stitched for a stroke. Correct. Yes. So this is going to be my August cross stitch. Um, and I'm probably going to do the small one, not the big daddy. These things are way bigger in person. They're like, huge. I know. I'm like, they're, <laughs> huge. they're big. You think you're getting off small. Go back to the blackbird strawberries if yeah. you want a smaller um, one. And then I picked up Scarlet House strawberry. I got house. that too. I got that oh, full kit. I love kit. this so much. And I hate that you can't even really see in the picture, but that bottom is so beautiful. beautiful. Tanya, yeah. seriously, it's gorgeous. Yeah, I, I ordered that in as a kit. Okay, that's it for Hobby House. Okay, and then I went to Creative Needlework, and I showed you a few things that I got there. Um, they had some, a basket full of Blackbird um, that were the reprints. Oh yeah. And so I, I Oh, I've never seen this book before. I've never seen this Summer's one. Summer's Last Rose. I've never even heard yeah, of it. It's I don't from think. 2012 Blackbird Summer's Last Rose. And again, smalls, the smalls. I'm embracing. I'm so glad <laughs> the smalls are speaking to you right now. I need something Yes. <laughs> then I bought um, well, You're knocking them out real quick. <laughs> Emma and Martin Noah Hubbard. This and I love this is a um Hands Across the Sea. But it's two of them, and the, it says, We praise thee, O God, and um, the other one says, Praise ye, Lord. And so I thought, Oh my goodness, I need those. So I got that. And then I got um, Emily Calwar, um, 1890, from Hands Across the Sea. They had a great <coughs> showing for Hands Across the Sea mm -hmm. and Creative Needle Arts. And I, again, I can... And those are ones that I don't see. I don't know that I've seen either of those no, before. No, you don't really see no. people showing it too much. And then again, because of the fact that they are, they have cross-stitch and needlepoint, the threads were off the chart. I mean, oh, yeah. because they had anything and everything, specialty. Do you know who the only person... I'm sure Hobby House is like that. And I had somebody say to me, oh, no, it was at the shop when we were there Friday. And they mentioned somebody else, but I can't remember. But um, would be the Tinsmith. Uh, they oh, they yeah. mentioned somebody Wendy. else but the, yeah. uh, that I've seen in person, Creative Needle Arts and the Tinsmith. I'm talking because they have needlepoint and you just can't believe the thread stuff because of them. hobby house for just cross stitch if you are looking for threads hands yes. down they they are well, they are dead on it an amazing they carry ev i mean everything that you would stitch cross stitch wise like yeah. the complete overo swaw line all of the overo swas the swa surfines the 103s the whatever they carry all the glorianas the tutors i mean they carry yeah it, it is definitely a place to go if you're looking for threads, for yeah. sure. But I agree with that. Like, I the only place here locally that I can get the Avera Swa silks is um, the... Madeira, the needle Yes, yes, shop. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, now, the other three patterns I got were from Needle Art by Wendy uh, from the Heart Needle Arts. She, I actually have the large samplers, but she's calling these the little sampler series. And I just love it. They're pieces of her samplers. This one's from Little Rose Garden. 
I love these. I'm thinking, okay, a little sampler. And then this one is uh, Jobiana's little sampler. This is just a little piece. So it's something that you can get into, take a bite and be done. And then I did buy this one. This is Lover of My Soul. And I love what it says. It says, Jesus, Lover of My Soul, let me to thy bosom fly. While thy gathering waters roll, while the tempest still is nigh. And I bought that. So I love them. Love them, love them. And then the other three things that I bought was as I bought um, a fat quarter of uh, 40 count granite, which is just a Zweigart. Mm -hmm. And then I, this is called anthracite mm -hmm. and it's a 40 count and it's a Zweigart, but I loved that gray. And I picked that gray because somebody was stitching something on gray and I'll remember because I took a picture of it, but I can't remember now. And I was like, oh, it was Christine Hollis. She was stitching oh. something. And, and I was like, I would have never put that on there. But so you'll see that on Instagram when I do it. And I'll remind you. But anyway, I bought that. Um, and then I bought a fat quarter of uh, raw 46 count. Because who doesn't just need a good neutral? And so anyway, that is what I bought. Um, on my vacation but then I have a little bit of haul and I want to um, give it right now because I have a present for you okay okay and so <laughs> <laughs> you know that Shelly Fry loves Gamma's treasure shop yes. I love Gamma's bags but Gamma's daughter is just as talented as as Dawn oh. and her daughter has begun to make special tools for stitchers and before anyone got to see them i got to see the preview from don privately and i bought us both a set so we were what one of the it? very first recipients of these i don't know that i've even seen these has she posted it online yeah they've been posted online now but i got to see them before anybody and you and i both got a set okay i'll show my set <laughs> and you show yours Oh my gosh. All right, now pull the tip out. Hold on, hold them up and show every, the people. Show the peoples. These were handmade by her daughter. Oh, wow. Now pull the tip out. Are they two different things? Yes. Okay. That is your scissors. Oh. Now stick it in the hole. Stick, no, no, stick, no, no. Stick it. Oh, oh. Oh my gosh. Now, do your other one. <gasps> Aren't they pretty? Those are absolutely gorgeous. Your daughter did so good, Dawn. And I love them. And a seam ripper. Now put it in. Put it in. Look at that. Aren't they gorgeous? Oh my gosh. These are absolutely beautiful. Aren't they neat? <gasps> I was in golf shorts oh. and she was sending me pictures. I was sitting on the beach and Jerry's like, what are you all giddy about over there? Oh my it, gosh. She was sending me pictures. These are stunning. Aren't they neat? You just oh. got to have all the things. So this is my set. Oh my gosh. I love them just for the... Mine are pearl. You're, you're not picking up on it. But she, these are uh, resin work. What do you think? Is that wood in there no, with the it's, resin? It's resin. Oh, it's all resin? It's all resin. Oh my gosh. How in the world does she... Because she's talented like that. Liz. Oh, wow. <laughs> you guys, I've got to... Hold on. Let me, let me do it behind here so you can see. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That is absolutely stunning. It really is. Those are so... Beautiful. What is her daughter's name? Um, she put her card. That's Dawn. That's card. Dawn's card. She. Um. Oh, is it in the bag here? Oh, here it is. Yeah. Anne's. Oh, Amber. Amber. Amber Myers. Ams. <sighs> so oh, Ams. I thought it said Anne. A... Ams Creations. Hope you guys can get a screenshot of that there. So if you have that special yourself stitcher in your life or friend these are the neatest most beautiful things oh, you. you're welcome you're welcome oh my gosh amber seriously aren't these are beautiful? absolutely beautiful like 
Yeah, these are just gorgeous. So follow Gamma's oh Treasure goodness. Shop on Instagram and be paying attention wow. if you love those custom made tools for stitchers. So beautiful, love, beautiful, love, love beautiful. That. And then I have this thing that um, one of our uh, one of our viewers, um, <coughs> her name is Linda Richter. She um, saw me post some booties online because oh. I, I chronically make booties. Um, I knit and stitch them for the baby group that I lead, the ministry I lead. Well, she was like, oh, I want to learn to make those booties. So I sent her the pattern. Well, she made a set of booties and she made a donation to For the Babies and Beyond, the ministry that I lead at our church. <clears throat> and these will go to our local NICU or to a crisis pregnancy center to cover the feet of a sick or um, a needy child. So thank you, Linda. Those are beautiful. That was very sweet of you, Linda. But she's from Texas and she sent us both a fat quarter of Texas blue, blue bonnets. bonnets. So... And then she sent us this beautiful <laughs> little piece, and it says, I so appreciate your floss tube. I learn and am enabled all the time. I so love um, the, the booty pattern. And she goes on and on and on and tells about how she loves you and I both and thanks us and sends love from Texas. I love that. So, Thank you so much, Linda. But uh, she also... Um, she is on YouTube too. Richter Stitcher is who she is. So give her a watch. But so, so sweet of you to send that. But then um, another floss tuber, our friend, the floss boss and cousins, the rotten, the Christy rotten Christy and Callie. Callie. Well, um, Christy gave Callie um, one of these devotionals and oh, yeah. I love Spurgeon. So oh, I immediately, Spurgeon, yeah. I bought this for myself, but then I got on and I hunted you down one. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so, uh, oh, I love Christy, Charles Spurgeon. Great, great devotional. Oh, thank wow. you. This is beautiful. So this one's now called, are these all his? Like, yes. Okay. These are his and it's morning by morning devotional and it's a journal so you can write in it. Oh yeah. But then I got on and I found Look, evening guys. by evening. Oh. So I got oh. that one. So but I only could find one. Now, Where I, did you get these? I bought this on um um Oh, it, it is the used book company. Um, oh. oh, gosh, it's on the tip of my tongue. I buy so much from them. Sorry. I'm, I didn't I'm so think sorry. Um, uh, yeah, cheap books. <laughs> I got it online from a used book place because I couldn't find a, a new one. I looked on Amazon, but oh. they were sold out. So I found them on used books. So. This is beautiful. Oh, yeah. thank you. Oh, yeah, it's 2005, so it was a while ago, yeah. huh? Yep. Oh, oh, I love this. Yep. Thank you so much. And then I have one other little thing for you. Um, as some of you have seen on Colorado Cross Stitcher, she showed these little Bristol yes. necklaces. Yes, yes. So this is oh a freebie gosh, pattern on Colorado Cross Stitcher's website, but she needed to have the little necklace. So Liz, ah. there's the pattern in the necklace. I loved these. So get you some of that. Stitch love, yourself up a little. Uh, I did see these, necklace. Sherry. I love these. So she, 46, 46 over one. So guess what's going to come in Swasser handy for v. that, people? <laughs> I may have to give Shelly. I'll give her some of my, look, look at this beautiful red, Tudor red I got. Oh. Look at this deep, it's almost perfect. Look at that deep, rich red. Well, I have a whole host of them coming because oh. I, I bought a bunch of 56 and Susan's doing some stuff for me. Oh, I love this. This is going to be perfect. 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 So, um, I love those necklaces. Isn't that neat? Oh, those are gorgeous. Yep. Probably so not going to finish it, but I'm going to stitch it. <laughs> <laughs> so did you have anything else? Um, I had some haul that I got from the Crafty You. Yeah, let's see it. Because um, I got a few things, but other than that, I'm pretty done except for okay. the few things. Okay, and then this. Um, um, we have a viewer, and she was precious. She was so sweet. She was so precious. She wanted. She was waiting to get us both together to give us these. Yes, um, and, and, and I'm so sorry. I, so many people in so many days. Her name is, she's a beautiful artist. She kept bringing me, th showing me all of her oil and watercolor paints. She's so talented. Now, but these it. are precious. These are prayer bracelets. Mm. And she so, brought one for yeah. this and one for me. There's seven strands that equal seven days. 
and it's just to remind you to pray. And we just are so grateful. They're beautiful. They're, They're beautiful. beautiful. And mine's in reds, and it's next to my bed because I've been wearing it. So that that's who makes the um, willow tree, right? Yes. yes. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, thank you. Thank you so much for that. I mean, it was so thoughtful, and it was so kind of you. And she brought me this. This was um, an old pattern. She said because I sew and all of that. It's a hand-drawn pattern. Oh, wow. And it's for a bag. And so I, indeed, oh am gosh. going to use the hand-drawn antique pattern. Um, let me see what the first class... Uh, 1951 is the mailing um, stamp on this. And so I actually am going to take this, and I'm going to make the bag, and you'll see that in an upcoming episode sometime in the future. So thank you so much, and I, we, I apologize. Liz apologizes. We don't mean to forget your name. There were so many people. There was a lot of people. There was so many people. Um, real quick, when I was in Nashville, um, I met up with Laura. Um, our friend, sweet Laura. My sweet Laura from Utah. Um, our um, Shelly and I, yeah, we, I love you, Laura. We do. <laughs> Mm -hmm. um, but she met up because she was there for a homesteading conference while I was down helping my daughter that week. And so I met up with her in Nashville the day she was flying home. We spent the day together. But she had bought me this bag at, because um, of course it's bees, uh, when she went to Shepherd's Bush because she has been back to Shepherd's Bush multiple times. She was a new stitcher. Moni and Laura both started stitching when I was out in Utah out there. I could not be more excited, but she had grabbed that cute bee bag for me. Okay, so Crafty You. I um, thought that I'll start it when you start it. Well, I know. I thought it would be fun for us to do it together. Yes. That could be like I've our little all, thing I've together. I've all kidded. Oh, you do? Well, yes. I think we need to do it and do our little initials in there somewhere. Yes. Okay. So, Jan. You're going to see it in a second. <laughs> Jan Reader, um, our friend Jan, who works at Keepsakes. And she's in our um, stitch group. And she's in our stitch group. And then there's Jan Calvert. But Jan Reader had told me a while back to if I'm ever up in that area to stop by the Crafty U. Crafty U is in Broadview Heights. It's just south of Cleveland. And so on the way out, we were stopping in Rochester, but on the way back, um, we actually, we spent the night in Buffalo and then we, at Tim stopped at the Crafty U for me on our way home. Cause I wanted to go in there. Um, it's not, it's really not that far, <laughs> but you would make it, you would think it is. Um, Cleveland's what, three hours from four, us? Four, four, No, uh, the way Tim drives, it's definitely uh, less than <laughs> lived in Twinsburg and Twinsburg's um, right there in Cleveland. I can get to Cleveland four. in three and a half hours. Yeah. Um, Clearly, I have a lead foot. So when I was, <laughs> um, when we were there, I did get all the threads for my create there. I picked up two silks um, and a few other threads. But I was super excited because I'm telling you, you cannot find it. Now, people, not to complain, color and cotton, I do love you. But to find color and cotton linen now is well, because pretty much impossible. Store. They have their store, store. now. Uh, Tim knows if a job comes up, because um, he's field service, he works on um, oncology equipment and um, cardiac cast stuff. I said, if there's anything that comes up in St. Louis... You need to hop on it because I'm going with you. So, of course, I go yes, of course, while we were on vacation in Boston, what came up? St. Louis. I was like, oh, why? Mm -hmm. um, because I am determined to go to the color and cotton, or maybe we yeah. just need to make a road trip. It's five hours. St. Louis isn't that far. It's five hours. Um, so I think we need to do a road trip to color and cotton because that's where you're going to we'll find all the of gang it. gang and get in the suburban. I think we need to do it. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if I'll wait on Tim because then if Tim goes, then it's not going to be pleasant because he's going to be like, how long do you possibly need in that place? <laughs> I don't want to be rushed. Mm -hmm. So anyway, she had some aged paper color and cotton 46 that count. is such a good color i oh, love that color so pretty so i was so excited when i saw that some color and cotton in the wild mm -hmm. and um then this is the one shell was talking about so this is jeanette douglas let's do what we love i've loved this chart for a while i just never the bought it did it that's where i saw oh, it oh i know i'd seen yeah, it before and i knew i wanted to do it yeah, Jen and Nancy, um, they were doing it, and I, that's where I saw it. It's it's not, oh my gosh, it's not big at all. No. Holy cow. Let's nope, it's just 91 by 104, guys. So <laughs> I'm going to stitch this for sure. I am in love with this. So let's do that together. And then I saw this came out, but I had not bought it yet. So this is Little Robin's Designs, Little Liberties. 
course, because I'm doing all my smalls. I will change those colors, but I absolutely love these pillows. They're so cute. And then I've been wanting this for a while. Um, and so she had it and I grabbed it. A girl in her garden. I love that. Um, which actually was like a dying to stitch exclusive. And then Brenda released it. Love it. Um, Is, didn't that just release? Because mm -hmm, I, I pre-ordered it. it. I did. Um, but I haven't got it yet. No, I haven't got it. So when I saw it, I just bought it. Yeah, um, I pre-ordered it, but it's not got I it. I love ordered this the one. kit. Oh, I did not get the kit. Yeah, I ordered it from Farm Girl. Oh, yeah, I did not get the kit. Well, because I don't, you don't even have to do a drum. You can just do it I like a... I want to do a drum. Do you know? I don't know how to do drums. I've um, never stitched a drum, and I want to, and so that was why I bought the kit. You know, so I don't know that I'm actually stitching. Actually, I think it's like my strawberries. I have stitched things and turned them into, into drums, drums, or I've stitched things the, and turned the, it into berries. The one that that Susan did for you, the drum. It was one of your first pieces. Oh, it yes. Was so um, I gave up on that. Um, that's how that came about because I was like, I just can't even bring myself to finish this anymore. Mm -hmm. And I said, I don't know what to do with it. But I stitched it on silks. It was. Um, it was a my big toe design, yes. um, and it was a hem. I think that one was um, all I have. Um, great is thy faithfulness. faithfulness yeah. Great is thy faithfulness. And Susan took it and turned it into a drum, and it was so beautiful. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, so th those were the charts I grabbed there. That's it. I have a few more things. Just a few more things. I am in love with Dawn from Dama Treasures. They're these little bags, and now that I'm stitching all these little things, mm -hmm. this makes like I think my sixth little one that I've bought. So is that not the cutest? Llamas, cows, chickens, and pigs. So I am actually taking the things out of the little bags that I have that are bigger and only putting little things in my little bags. Oh. But isn't that the cutest yes, size? I it love is. it. And I did buy another one and it was in Teresa Kogut um, fabric, but it um, that was my birthday present to Diane. It was in um, Teresa's fabric. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I gave that to her. And Wait, then, you made one that size? Is that what you said? No, I bought a second oh, one from Dawn. Oh, okay. And, and, um, so I don't have it here to show, but it was in Teresa Kogut fabric and it was just like this with a thread bed. But it was in Teresa's new fabric. But oh, okay. I gave it to Diane oh, yeah. as her birthday gift. Sorry, well, I just <laughs> blow in the window. Hot flashing. Here. I'm, I am hot flashing over here. <laughs> and then um, Dixie Sampler hand dyed fabrics. Yep. I got um, two different ones Wicker and win uh, Vintage Dunes, and they're both in 56. They're gorgeous. Oh. So uh, that's why I need some two. Mm -hmm. Well, but I have some more 56 that I had gotten. And I'm going to do Chubby Bird. I stitched Chubby yes, Bird yes. for Lisa last yes. year. But I'm going to stitch Chubby Bird for myself. But I want to do it on 56 because I want to put it in a yiddle, yiddle clock. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then I have a message for you. A message for me? Yes, I got a message for you. Let me pull it out. Let me find. Oh, please tell me I'm it's sorry. in there. Y'all knew this was going to be a long one. We've been gone for six weeks. Oh, daggone it. There it is. Our friend Colleen, Rebel Stitcher, I placed an order from her, and I got a message, and it says, <laughs> Hi, pal. Please say hi to Liz for me. So there's your message. Colleen, I told her. <laughs> I miss you, friend. I love you. So I thought that was so sweet. I saved the receipt. I love just her so much. That. Uh, I bought from her the Women of Honor sampler, and then I like... I, I got that. I'm changing I, all the... I'm going to do that as my family, women's family sampler. Yes. Yeah. I want to put all the beautiful yep. women in my family. That's in my that daughter. Yep. I'm even going to put my daughters-in-law, my daughter. Oh, yeah. I'm going to put all the women in my family. I love that sampler of so, hers. I uh, love it. And look at the flap. Is this yeah. just... Colleen, it's just amazing. This right here is... What is not gorgeous mm -hmm. about this sampler? It's beautiful. Love it. Bravo, Colleen. Gorgeous. And then, of course, we have to stay on sheet themes. So I bought Dirty You, E-W-E. Yep. Well, this is 46 Count Rustic Sheep by X Jude Designs. From Re I got it from Rebel Stitcher. And then this is a 40 Count... Old Sheep yep. <laughs> by X Jude Designs. Oh, I love this color. And, this is gorgeous. And this is 46 count. Mm. This is just old linen. Uh, by X Jude. This is old linen. I got to get some of that. Isn't that? Well, our girlfriend will hook a girl up. Yep. I got to so, get some of that. That is gorgeous. Yeah. This, oh, 
This um, one's 46, this one's 40. So two are 46 and one is 40. Um, and the Crafty U um, that I went to, EWE, Colleen had done an exclusive needle minder for them and it did make me laugh. Um, oh, I just saw Because it says U, EWE, you Crafty B. <laughs> She says so uh, smoky. Yeah, I know. I, <laughs> um, I, I was like, yep, gotta get one of those. You know what? Um, I just looked down and I forgot. I have two more things. I oh, apologize. Okay. Me and my shopping. See, I told you I told my husband I am not going to shop. Please hide my credit card, people. All right. Oh, I, I know had, what this is. I bought two of these. You know, up here, I, I have the wood uh, ones, though. Oh, look at that. In, look at that engraved yes. in there. Oh, it's so it's pretty. A, Wait, it's it's on, um, this is from Ray Niles from Red Barn Designs. I bought two of her um, resin ones uh, of these. These are um, to put your hoops on, but I bought two of these wooden ones because I want to put my queen hoops. Um, I want to put my queen hoops and I want to put my hold tights and my princesses on the wooden ones. Now the resin ones, this top drawer right here, it is filled with hoops they are the metal hold tights and the old just regular dime store ones and i there's not a hoop that i don't love and i won't get rid of if i'm looking for a queen hoop or something and there's a lot you know like there's like 10 hoops and you have to buy it to get the one i'll buy it but i love all of them no matter what they are but i'm going to put the queens the princess and in the whole tights and the duchesses on the wood and then up on the plastic ones i'm going to put the other the metal ones and things like that so but i uh, she put these on and made a post and two seconds later, I hit her website. I was like, I cannot miss out on these. So I love I those wooden those. ones. Those are beautiful. Beautiful. And then six weeks ago, probably <laughs> 10 weeks ago, I was on, uh, I bought this on Etsy and it came from Paris, France. And it's an antique Frame. Did you have a Stitching. search for this or how'd you find this? Well, because my chronic searches for, um, I, I have a, a saved search for queen hoops, princess Oh, like hoops. on eBay? This was on Etsy. I have a saved oh. search on Etsy too. Oh, okay. And so, but this came up in the hoops, but this is so neat. And uh, it, it came from Paris, France. It was an antique. The only thing is, is let me show you. How does that work? Well, you put a leader cloth on here. It's a piece of cloth and you bring oh. it up here and then you pin your fabric to it. It's the same way that you would use my quilt frame. Oh, okay. But do you see these little biscuits up here and these little square biscuits right here? There are three of these biscuits. There needs to be four. There's only two of these square biscuits. There needs to be four. What you would do is put the round one on the outside, the square one here, and, and when you screw it to whichever length or width you want here, then see this, it locks it into place. Oh, okay. See, because the wood has been scrolled, so it so you screw it on like a knob. Ugh. I because of my um, antique spinning wheels, I have a there's a woman. She's a woman woodworker. She's in Dayton. Her name is Diane. And I have had pieces made that were missing for my antique sewing, uh, spinning wheels. So I'm actually going to drive this to Dayton, drop this off to Diane and have her make the missing pieces. And I think actually what I'm going to do is take a sampler that I, when I'm done stitching mm -hmm. it, put some beautiful leader cloth on the top and the bottom and pin it on there and display it on this. Oh yeah. Wouldn't that be pretty? Yeah. Yeah. So that's the last thing. I mean, Lord, could there be any, I mean, we are at two hours, 30 minutes. Feature film. Feature Having a hot flash over here too. <laughs> <laughs> so we've come to the end of this and, um, We've got some things coming up, which will be exciting to tell you about. We've got um, next Saturday, we have um, Summer Stitch with mm -hmm. Keepsakes, which is our Summer Stitch. Um, it's not a retreat. No, but it's, it's a, a local It's thing. a local day stitch. This Saturday, I am as excited as can be. Um, I'm part of the Queen City Sampler Guild. And we're going on a field trip. Oh, that's this Saturday? This Saturday. Oh, yeah. Well, I have baby group this Saturday. So I'm going to, um, there's oh. two, uh, there's one on one side of town, one on the other side of town. So I'm going to the first one. And then I have a coordinator that's going to do the second one because it's at the same time. 
but we're going to Mount uh, St. Notre Dame uh, here in Cincinnati. They have It's a Catholic school, but the nuns who run the program began the program in 1804. And we're going to go there and they have a museum. They have preloaded us in advance with, they, they, they showed us and sent us pictures of the curriculum that was used for the needlework yeah. for their program. And we're going to go to their museum and see the antique stitching that was done on the property. And they're gonna show us all those things. And I am so excited about that. Um, there's a couple stitch days with the Guild and Tierras. This month is a Tierra stitch, um, which is another group that's part of the, the Guild. Um, so we've got some stitching days. We do have some stitching days. We've got some days. cool, fun things coming up. So you didn't show those. Show them really quick. No, You've got to show them really quick. So we can't finish this video without you showing your quilting. My She's quilt a quilter. That I did that we're going to have to make into. I think I decided we're going to make them into a mat. Um, yep. It was such a fun day. Yes. So Carrie I have was six here. of them. I have six of oh, them. She, boop, boop. This one's the first one she did. Yes, it is. And oh, look, she learned to fussy cut. She I was did. doing color theory. Uh, Carrie said, honey, you went from kindergarten to third grade in like I, five <laughs> seconds. I know. I was like, it took me longer to figure out how I wanted to coordinate the colors than it did to stitch it. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, I do like to, I guess I, I'm I'll more OCD than I thought with, because we tried the string quilt thing and I was like, no, wait a second, that doesn't match up. And like that line, well, and Carrie's like, Liz, it's like meant to be like. Me and, me and Carrie are like, <laughs> lay that fabric down and sew and it. And I wasn't, I, mean, I was like, too I was like, no, that doesn't work. I need these colors to be like perfect. And, and I want She says, this. I want to do patchwork. We're like, all of it's patchwork. <laughs> and she's like. I want to do this and we're like uh no this isn't going to work for you because you're being way too OCD so Carrie was like okay let's just sit down let's just <laughs> and she was so sweet and she and was she just oh it was so good and I'm so excited she has she, the patience of a saint she is a saint. <laughs> I asked a lot of questions. Okay. I asked a lot of questions. It's okay, but now you've got your questions answered. Now you know yes, what you're doing. I do. So I do. Anyway. It was a fun day. Well, we did it. We finished. We finished. I can't believe feature film. Feature length film Sorry, here. Guys. No, I, well, listen, everybody's gonna love it because everybody just couldn't wait for a video. So I mean I'm okay with that. And, um, you know, there you go, Christy. You happy? Uh -huh. You should be. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, I'm hot flashing. I need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, well, before we sign off, if you haven't seen the pink stitchers, check them out. They're yes. awesome. Yes. Brand new cross stitch, uh, floss tube. They've got floss tube number one. Our friend Sarah W. Handmade by Sarah Miss W. Sarah. She's just doing such a great You're job. You're doing such a good job. Watch them too. If you, if you have any energy left after watching our feature full length film here. Yes. But they are wonderful new stitcher, uh, new floss tubes. They're not new stitchers. They're new floss tubes. And I'm just so excited. Welcome, welcome ladies. We're so excited. Done great. I know I found out about the pink stitchers from Christy and oh, Kelly. Yeah. Um, I, I hadn't seen their floss tube before. Oh, they're sweet. Yeah. And they all, a mother and two daughters, all have had breast cancer. I know. But they are just celebrating life and doing great things. And so welcome. Wonderful. We welcome you. We're so excited you're out there. Yes, ma'am. So, but that brings us to the end of the day. Yeah. And so until we see you again, we wish you many happy stitches. Bye, guys. Bye, friends.